Hey, hello everyone. We're coming to you live from Florida on our special night, right, boys? We're here on a Saturday night. Usually, we're here on a Sunday night, but we have a special date and time here. Saturday night live, the better version, right? What's up, everybody? How y'all doing out there? So, welcome and good evening. Hope you guys are having a great Saturday so far. Hopefully, we're about to make it a little bit better, right, boys? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Well, my so, day is always wonderful. Right, but it's more wonderful when we're together, right? Yes, yes. Um, maybe. Wow, <laughs> wow okay. this ready. We'll take, we'll take what we could get. That's, yeah. that's, okay, but we're here for episode six, boys. Like you know, we keep saying every week, can't believe we're here for like another week, right? It's number so six. It's pretty great. Uh, uh, right. So what? <laughs> I can't believe we're on number six. Right. So in case you don't already know, uh. My name is Brian from Brian and Ead. You can catch me on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm here with my lovely uh, co-host, uh, Theme Park Lifestyle. You can catch him pretty much everywhere. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. And our good buddy, Lugo. You can catch him on YouTube at Lugo and on Instagram uh, at Lugoman78. Right, buddy? Yes, sir. Okay, so coming up tonight, we do have a special guest, and we're really excited about having her in the house tonight for the love of disney for the love of cooking uh two channels yes. there right is about to come on and hang with us and join the chaos but first i wanted to talk a little about lugo's big week at <laughs> world disney world so hey aaron <clears throat> what's yeah, up patrick hello everybody hey staff coco, what's up hey hey it's cheryl from Journey oh my Away. friend coco Coco, hello. What's up, Patrick? Bebe, what's up? How are you guys? Uh, thank you for joining us. If you're joining us live or if you're catching us on the replay, thank you so much for your support. Um, let me share this a little. Because, Benny, you had you were hyping us up for weeks and weeks and weeks, and you oh, finally yeah. got to experience it. I needed a vacation, and I took five days to, to go there for three days. <laughs> yeah, but it felt like, what, a week, right? Uh, yeah, it felt like a week. All right, yeah, so let me get this up here. Amazing. <clears throat> let me add it to the screen. Okay, there we go. So more <laughs> proof, more proof that we're besties in real life, right? Here's us when we went, we went well, we met Wednesday at where? Disney Springs. Yes. Mm -hmm. I gotta admit, I know like the summer's coming and it's getting hotter, but for some reason that, that day the kind of the heat took me out of it. Uh, it was a hot one. It was hot, and obviously, duh, we live in Florida. But, you know, you were online with someone at Gideon's, uh, uh, someone who's born and raised in Florida, and they were sweating yeah. their butt off. Mm -hmm. You know, they said they weren't used to the heat either. But I think in another couple of weeks, another month, we'll be used to it. But, yeah, here's uh, that's mom in the back, photobombing. Yeah, right? my mom photobombing. <laughs> right. This was taken right after, oh, right before we left and uh, jetted out yes. the, the orange garage, right? Yeah. Uh, and this is you. You want to explain this? <laughs> the, the, Mr. Folks. Toes. Yeah. I love Mr. Toes for Wild Ride when it was here at the Magic Kingdom. Um, right. Was, you... I was seven years old the first time I rode it. Seven years it old. It was one of the scariest rides I've ever been on at, at that time. And I decided <laughs> I had to take a picture. It's some memories of going on that ride with my brothers. Was... And why was it scary? Because apparently before the stream we were talking, you guys informed me that you go to hell in this. Uh, well, it was a, it's, it was it fast. It depends on what side you, know. you go on. Yeah. yeah, it depends on what side you were going on. Uh, right. it, it just the way it twisted and turned. It was so fast, and I was only seven years old, six, seven years old. <laughs> I know one right, side. You, I, I remember riding. You do die on one side, and then you enter hell on mm -hmm, that one side after like you die. And then you go into the gift shop. Yay! Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, okay. So you guys have vivid memories of that. Uh, I do. Just yeah. Certain That's memories, cool. yeah. Not it, it was kind of terrifying. Memory. That and Snow White was terrifying. Yeah. Well, the scary adventures of Snow White, yeah. That was that was a interesting ride. And people got scared so much that they, you know, closed it. What's up, Ian? Welcome to the chat. Uh so moving on, let's let's talk about some of these pictures that <laughs> mm -hmm. so Disney dragged Diagon Alley right into Main Street. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm jealous because I've been I've been wanting to see this for a good minute. I've never seen this before. Uh, Maleficent's oh, dragon, right? So huge, yeah. Yeah, just massive. And it's unfortunately it did not breathe fire, but it was moving. 
you know, gracefully oh, really? down Main Street. Yeah. Why? Because that incident they had? Uh, no, because they they do it every once in a while. It's okay coming up Main Street. This this is near where it ends. So okay, they weren't doing it then. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Well, very it's cool. Still a cool thing to see. No, it's very cool. I yeah, you know if you I look close. Parades, so. <laughs> I was looking at, I think, one of your videos that you sent or somewhere, mm-hmm. and you could see the guy in here. I never saw the guy so clear in here before. That was kind of controlling yeah. the whole dragon. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool. Darrell, you were here for this parade? No, I was no, he not. Was I was still on my adventure <laughs> trying to get to the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> All right, next up are just some you know, screen captures you took from the parade. This is pretty cool. The floats are uh, pretty involved. Very festive. Yeah, yeah. Did you scream for Elsa to say? She looks like she's talking right to you here. No, <laughs> I was just really? filming. I was just taking shots. That's and cool. they looked over waved. I was like, "That's awesome." Well, the funny connection is that your mom is named Elsa, right? Yeah, yeah, that's so pretty she cool. Was like, thought she was waving at me because ah. I'm Elsa. <laughs> nah, that's, so cool. <laughs> that's so cool. I give these uh, team members, oh, the cast members, a lot of credit for going on this floor. I would be so afraid mm-hmm. on the floor. I guess they have stuff that fastens them in, but. Uh, I'd be freaking yeah, out. Uh, yeah, there's an actual Hook, seat Captain belt. Hook, he is. Like, if you oh, look, yeah, Captain you Hook, he's, his, he's, yep. yeah. he's strapped in. Okay. I was most impressed, out of all the ones you sent, I was most impressed by this. So he swings on this, right? Uh, Yeah, uh, it doesn't really swing. He's just uh, standing on it. Oh, really? His hand is up top. Okay. Okay. Hey, you guys. Welcome in. Yeah, and, welcome in, guys. Um, Eden, what's up? Comic. <laughs> Two real oh, geeks, what's up, Eden? Real how geeks. are you? Hey, what's up? How are you guys? I get scared as soon as I see the welcome of Florida sign, don't we all? <laughs> but um, okay, very cool. So moving on, I just want to show a couple more things. Like, of course, my bestie is here, Chip and Dale. What beautiful pictures you took. Thank you. Uh during the daytime. I really love them and Winnie the Pooh, of course. Did you um uh have fun finding the statues? Uh yeah, I just I didn't have time to get the other ones, right. so I got what I could where, where I was. I couldn't, as you see in the distance, you can see da- uh, Donald and Daisy over there. You I know, those the are the there. only two right. statues I do not like is the Chippendale statue. Why? Yikes. I don't like Chippendale. Oh, Damn. okay. Very cool. Uh, but I, I, do, <laughs> I, do, I do I do like the Apu, uh, what's his name, Apu? Apu. Apu, Apu. the statue, like he's yeah. like hiding up in the sign. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. Uh, of course, some nighttime shots here. Is this uh, where your is this where your spot was for enchantment? Uh, near there. This was after enchantment. Okay, uh, which I thoroughly enjoyed. This is after enchantment, where everyone traveled each yeah. other, leaving. No, it wasn't that because Magic Kingdom closed at eleven. Oh, they stuck around. So, yeah, there's people that that went the other way, and there people that. So I funneled into the middle of Main Street and walked down, so I was good. Yeah, Coco, he's trying to start shit, but we just ignore him. We yeah. just ignore him like always. We ignore him and we move on. That's the best way to deal with it. And uh, beautiful shots of the castle and the fireworks. So w- what did you think of Enchantment? I know you... I, I loved first it. First time seeing it or no? Uh, yeah, it was my first time seeing it. Wow. Loved it. Loved it. Did you get a I shot mean, of I mean, Tinkerbell? Uh, unfortunately, Tinkerbell did not go down. I was thoroughly... If you heard the, the the videos that I filmed, yeah, you would hear me say "boo." <laughs> Why was it a weather thing or something? I, I think because it kind of kind of windy. Oh, okay. So I'm thinking that because there was no rain in sight. They're, okay, they All cleared right. up. So, but um, you've been too harmonious. How do you compare the two? Which one do you like better? I, I love harmonious. Still love harmonious. Always. Yeah. Okay. But I, I'm I'm gonna put them equal because the projections on the castle, the way it looked yeah. going down Main Street, because I turned around. To look down Main Street is hey, make, make sure you um slide me a plate of those ribs, please. Oh, right, put extra barbecue sauce on mine. Thank you, exactly. Yes, and some cold <laughs> soda. Thank you, thank you, sir. Um, okay, so did you get emotional at any point watching this fireworks show? Uh, yeah, actually, I did. Okay, do you felt it told a good story? Uh, yeah, okay, I mean, so did happily ever after, right? Happily ever after was great. Happily ever, yeah. I mean, I don't care about the change, but mm-hmm. I do think happily ever after was. I don't know. I liked it a little bit better. Right. I think if they... I, I liked it happily ever after a little bit better, but I yeah. I don't care what no one says. I'm a wishes fan. Wishes. Oh, yeah. I'm a fantasy wishes, in the sky fan. Wishes forever. Right. Well, Darrell, how do you stand fantasy up? Between, in the sky was when I went <laughs> between enchantment and harmonious. Which one do you prefer? Neither. Did you see neither? Okay. <laughs> 
Darrell's a very good conversationalist tonight. Like okay. literally neither. Um, I okay. got the the term of harmonious, but I uh, right. just wasn't for me. Okay. So this is some of the samplings, Benny, that you had this week. You yeah. care to explain like you don't have to go into crazy that detail, but like so where, where where did you get this stuff and explain a little bit of it? Okay. The top left is Devante Cristo at the Plaza uh, restaurant in Magic Kingdom. Uh it's uh, what is it? Is it... <laughs> I'm trying to remember what they do with it. Let me it's okay. see, pull it up. It was delicious, I know that. It's a deep fried funnel cake batter with bacon, oh. roasted turkey, and provolone sprinkled with mm. iridescent sugar and powdered <laughs> sugar. Served with a side of strawberry jam. Okay, and cool. Obviously and fries. Thumbs up. That sounds so <laughs> good. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. It was worth it. And the view of the castle from where I was sitting. Yeah. I mean, yeah. having dinner there and seeing that, it's great. And what Very my cool. parents like, couldn't ask for a better time. Yeah, they, too. Uh, go ahead. No, it's all right. Two real good because like, give me a hard horse any day on the nighttime show. He's a big universal <laughs> guy. Yes, that's a hard mountain to uh, Baja Blast. But Benny, were you able to? Uh, so you ate this right before the fireworks show, but you couldn't stay there yes. to watch it, right? No, no. Okay, was, I wanted to get up close anyway. So okay, that's normally where they have like the viewing, like the, the special parties, right? Uh, it, to the right is uh, for where I was sitting. If you walk down Tomorrowland Terrace, is where they do the dessert party. Right, right. And there was the garden viewing as well. Okay, very cool. But, you know, it was good. And the bottom yeah. is from Epcot, from Flower and Garden, which I only took a few pictures. I didn't take too much. But that's, that's all good. Uh, the chicken yakitori on the bottom. To okay. the right is the frushi. And the what, top okay, is the what is a frushi? Frushi, it's fruit sushi. It's all fruit. Uh, and, everything is fruit. And, and sweet sticky rice. Okay. It really? was phenomenal. Yes, it was phenomenal. It what was about really the top good. there? What is that? That I'm trying to remember the name of the drink, but it was a, a uh, apple pie moonshine drink with the like this almond, a little bit of like this weird almond liqueur. <laughs> okay. It just worked Baja together. Blast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, because that's what that's what uh, Brian's drinking. Yeah, that's the name of it. <laughs> so, uh, you you tried all these th- uh, all these dishes? Mm-hmm. Okay, and which one? The fruit sushi is the win. Uh, the all the one. that yeah. Monte Cristo wins. Monte Cristo. Okay, yeah, the Monte Cristo right, cool. the Plaza restaurant was really good. Hey, Mike and Steph, what's up? Welcome and good evening. Uh, yeah. and what's the what's the top right there? Is that a melting skull? It's a melting skull. Uh, LED glow thing. Oh, okay. Comes with the drink. And you see behind me, it's actually blinking up on the shelf. <laughs> That's, pretty <cool. laughs> That's pretty cool. What do you know? What was in that drink? Was it more like fruity tasting? Uh, like apple beer? pie moonshine. Oh, okay. Uh, something I think it's called Orgy. Okay. And hey, what's going on? Know, Journey really awaits. Good. Welcome in. How are you guys? What's up? The Journey awaits. Hello, Journey awaits. Um, okay, very cool. So, would you uh consider oh, the week of success or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, so talk to me if you will. Mm-hmm. The rel tipped me off to it. Uh, was there about to be a fight there? I got kind of pissed <laughs> off at people, <laughs> you know, just pushing their way through everything, like, and then trying to get in six minutes early. For six minutes, he wouldn't let us into Haunted Mansion. For six minutes, uh, yeah, you remember that, rel? Mm-hmm. Uh huh. We were there six minutes early. And I there was a douche, douche headed guy that was mad because you guys yeah. were asking questions. Yeah, asking the, about, I'm sorry, I can't have experience. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I wasn't, I'm asking a simple question. He's like, do you t-? and my mom, my mom's like, what do you want me to tell you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In those type of situations, you don't <sighs> have to keep your cool, right? Because, yeah, we can, I kept my cool, though. Oh, of I course. Did. No, you do, of course. But you see these videos and like, you just don't want to ruin, even though you might be in the right. Oh, it's because you know, I'm in retail. Want... That's why I kept my cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. Brianna. Oh, hey, how are you? Welcome in. How are Hello. you, Brianna? Uh, when is there... <laughs> right. When is there not a fight in World Disney World? Unfortunately, it's getting <laughs> it's more always. More. Yeah, it's getting It more wasn't going to be me. It wasn't going to be me. What's up, Mike and Steph? Uh, we are incredibly ready for HHN. I'm ready for my yeah. first time ever, yeah. 
especially with those uh, halfway to Halloween announcements this week, got me in the mood mm. for it. Because I truly believe uh, Halloween is done better at Universal, but that's just me. Um, but I also love it at Walt Disney World. It's all good. Um, so, guys, I am excited to bring in our special guest. Uh, it's someone that I've been following and watching for a while. I know uh, Darrell from Deep Park Lifestyle. Uh, you know her going a little bit further back than Lugo and I do. But it's been a pleasure to catch up with, like, with her content, her live streams, uh, her right. videos. Right, right? So yes. uh, without further ado, uh, we're going to bring in, for the love of Disney and for the love of cooking, uh, she has two channels. How are you? Hi, guys. How's it Hello. going? Hi, I'm good. So I want to see if I have your socials right. So on YouTube, you catch her at For the Love of Disney, For the Love of Cooking. Yes. On Instagram, it's For the Love of Disney, For the Love of Cooking. With a bunch and of little dash things. Right. And you're also on TikTok. <laughs> but, okay. but you know what? I put I put your name in on all the platforms, just For the Love of Disney and Cooking. And, you know, it comes up. So if anyone's freaked out about adding all those underscores, <laughs> yeah. don't be, I'm, I'm, but I but I am going to add it to the description of the video once we're done down below, so you could just check it out. But how are you? I'm good. I'm doing yeah. well. Mm -hmm. We're so glad and happy to have you as our second guest. Uh, when we ran into you in Disney Springs, uh, I, I I you know I met you for the first time. Uh, so I I felt the vibe. <laughs> We're gonna ignore that part, but I, I just feel like honestly, it, when, I, when I met oh, you though, I felt like you know you're definitely the vibe that fits with us. You you definitely seem really cool and down to earth. So, Thank so it's really cool just to have you here. Um, Thank you. So, uh, can you tell us about for the love of Disney, for the love of cooking? Like, why did you start it? What's your motivation? Um, and what's on your channel? What do you do? So how it came about is my daughters. I had built, when I was in upstate New York, when I lived there, I built a lavish dolls for them, for them three, so they could build memories together, have fun and whatnot. So once I moved down here, I was like, let me try it. But for people that really know me, know that my channel was never first called For the Love of Disney. Oh, okay. It had a goofy name. It, I had it under <laughs> Mama Disney. Mama Disney, okay. <laughs> Woo, that, that was a hot mess. So I then, um, when I Why, got a, here, a I, lot of freaks came out for that one. Oh yeah, they must have. Oh. Loved that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God. Um, so when they decided when we got here, I started. Let me try the Disney thing, and I was getting a lot of hooks on it with like the Disney character warehouse. I got a lot of them. I went to the Key West. I had a, a thousand something hits on that. So one day the girls were like, uh, "We want a divorce." I, they were like, we want to separate from you. You go do your thing, and we do ours. After I just got them forty thousand views on their little channel. Oh wow! <laughs> and they didn't do nothing with it, so that got me really bad. Um, I was like, okay, I'll try. So I had to restart. You know, right. it was pretty hard to start over. You know what I mean? Start at one subscriber and then build up to what I have right now. Right. So right. for Disney Channel, I just I like to go to like obviously the parks. Um, I do have like a series called In Great Detail at Cop that I have to go mm -hmm. back and, and finish it. And that's me going to each of the um, pavilions right? and going like deep in. Like I go now and I'm like, this has been here all my life. Why have I not ever seen this thing? And, you know, I love doing that, you know, breaking the parks apart and finding new things to do. Well, I was about to ask you, how do you find handling both channels at once? Because like you said, having one channel is hard enough, even getting, listen, when we had five subscribers, just when we did a live stream and had two people watching, like we were grateful for that. It's very hard, you know, to get oh, that. Yes. Know, so I had a schedule, but now that um I've moved up at my job, I have more responsibility, more stuff to do. So it's, I'm trying to catch a balance to go back to my schedule. Like right, I will right. do like Sunday tuesday and i forgot thursday i think it is or monday wednesday friday i'll do disney and i'll i'll do three videos on my day off i'll do three videos of wow. cooking one time to do the oh. monday whatever whatever it was if it was monday wednesday friday i'll have it set up already on my channel so it could just go on by itself and the girls will promote it for me like when i'm at work right they'll promote it they'll watch it they'll talk about it 
and that's how I did my cooking channel, and uh, that's how I was doing for my my channel also for the love for the love of Disney. For them, once they get back on, I will be dealing with editing my videos for cooking my Disney and theirs, and all okay. of our um, Instagrams. I'm the one that deals with it until they learn to do it. They're gonna learn. <laughs> two, two Real Geeks wants to know, you say upstate New York, but what do you call upstate? I'm from New York also. We may have a different location of it. Upstate New York, New York is more like Niagara Falls. I'm from Rochester, New York. I said that in the comments. Oh, okay, very cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm from Rochester, New York. Benny, um, you're from Jersey. I'm from Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, and I'm from Chicago. What's up? Yeah, we don't talk about <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are from Chicago. Chicago's beautiful. Um, so where did you learn to cook? Uh, my mom. And yeah. then I was uh, I love these, you know, cooking challenges on TV. I right. watched that a lot. And then I just add my own my own spice to it. How you know, add different you know, ingredients, it's not the same, try to make it different. And um so a lot of these recipes are passed down just with your twist on it or some of them? And with a twist. Okay. With a twist. Very cool. A twist. And some what, I just what's your favorite dish? Not, there's some that Jada Marie, my daughter, my oldest, sent me from TikTok and I'm like, let me try. And it's like, well, wow, where did they right. find that? Now Jada Marie is who was with you for um Whispering Canyon, right? That video. Yes, that's my oldest daughter because i do have a son that's 24 years old oh okay very cool mm -hmm. yep she was the one that was we had a good time that guy that waiter is the best i don't know yeah go over that pocket there. knife it's that tip. pocket knife was really funny yeah how do you get that i don't know how he got that will be walking around with that thing but he was cool tim and george i think it was that's yes it. Yes, I laughed out loud when he was behind you both and you didn't realize it. Yeah, we didn't. We we're just talking, babbling along. I was like, okay. Yeah, and he just threw the straws at you guys. That was really And funny. you know what? He has a TikTok that hit Does over 20.3 million. And you know that jar, that water jar he, he gave yes, me? Yes, yes. I thought it was a joke. But right. It was serious. Um, for some reason, okay, someone was recording it because they thought it was funny. He took the jar and he didn't even touch the table. And the whole bottom busted, and all, all the water went everywhere. Wow! And that Damn. thing got that thing hit twenty million on views. I was like, "Oh my god! Wow. Break a a jar on me!" I will like, <laughs> 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 get wet for twenty million dollars. Go ahead, throw it. Well, at you, me. you asked for lemon water. He just literally brought you two whole lemons, right, or something? He brought me this. No, he brought me a big mason jar and then right. one lemon one, and right. with no knife. <laughs> So I was cutting it with a butter knife. I was like, ah, "Is this is serious." <laughs> That's funny. And I um, make a dent on it. Your your vlogs and then your stream recap of Saint Augustine. Some mm -hmm. some place I always wanted to go. It was pretty cool. I enjoyed okay. that. You had that frozen key lime at the end. Oh, yeah. I love anything key lime. Yeah, and they have that store. That that lady was so nice. Um, she had like she allowed us because you know you have to ask over there because some of them they don't like you um, recording. I always ask before I walk in. Um, it was a key lime shop and a hot spicy, like hot sauce place, and she had like there you could buy candied um, key lime pecans. Those oh, are good. Yeah. The cookies. The, I mean, she had everything, and that frozen pie was so good. Yeah, you passed quite a few things. Like that sounds uh, can, good. Those pretzels on the wall you're looking at, the menu of those pretzels. Oh, oh they have good. crazy flavors on it. The bacon, bacon cheese. Mm -hmm. Oh, Benito, you had a question before. What, uh, get ahead and ask oh, me. Yeah, I'll be right cool. back. One second. I got to yeah. take care of the pups. What is your favorite thing to cook? My food. Like, that, when I say my food, it's from my, my country, yeah. Puerto Rico, Spanish food. I feel you. <laughs> I, I'm Puerto Rican myself. I love, it. So. I love <laughs> it. I do like to try new things. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm trying to try curry. I don't know how to make that, but I'm done. I'm trying to. I want to try. Wait, 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 wait. You trying curry? I want to try make it. Yeah. I want to try. It's I can try because you know I'm not perfect. <laughs> I could try. You know, I could try really it's, hard. It's simple. Um, uh, you know, I'm Jamaican, so pretty much we do everything curry. See, jerk. I wanted to try. <laughs> I've always wanted to try Jamaican food, and someone gave me some. And I just, I was like, never mind. I, it must be the place that they sent me because I was like, I know. 
Jamaican food has yeah, to taste yeah. better than what you just gave me. Right. And my daughter, I was looking at my daughter, I was like, uh, a real Jamaican beef patty. Yeah, is what Ooh, it hits exactly. Different. A real one. A real one, <laughs> yes. I was getting back in Jersey and mm, mm, uh, they just hit different. <laughs> yummy. See, a lot of people make their rice different. Like Puerto Rico, Puerto Ricans make their rice different. Dominicans make them right, um, their rice different. Me, I was taught like from my mother to make it taste like pasteles. I don't know if y'all know. I know probably Benny knows what pasteles mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. It's just, um, it looks like a tamale. It's a be. Puerto Rican tamale. Right. Yeah. 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 And mm -hmm. um, she showed me how to make my rice to taste like that. Two real geeks. <laughs> you make it like mm, that's just so good. <laughs> we're, we're gonna be Christmas time. We hit man. Christmas time is so good. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we make the pastelis. <laughs> the coquito I make it in oh, all yes. flavors. And that was your one of your very first videos, right? Like a couple seven months ago, the Neapolitan yeah. coquito. Yeah, the coquito. I, I make um I make them in different flavors of candy bars. Oh wow! Different flavors of you know chocolate. Cookies, like I mean, everything I make them in every kind of yeah. Um, I've heard people try to say make it into um, an orange, like an orange to taste. Mm, you know, yeah. I said that's possible, I, that's possible. When Christmas, Christmas come around, I'm gonna try it. Oh, yeah, because I got to. Can I, I can I order to. some bot? Can I order something? Uh, <laughs> you know, just like my friend Eva from Eva Loves Disney, yeah, she wanted pasteles mm. and um. During Christmas time, that's when I only do it because <laughs> that's too much work. Right. How many do you I, make? I, in my picture, <laughs> yes. I got pictures of me giving it to her during Christmas time. Do you have them stashed away in the freezer? All I still up? have a, a stash. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Same here. <laughs> yes. And we don't play. They're going to last. Yep. Uh, so I have a question like, here. Uh, ahead, I right. want to know Have you ever made any Disney inspired dishes? That's mm -hmm. a good question. No. But I do have the Coca Cola book oh, okay. um, from Coca Cola that had recipes in it. And um, I have my Coca Cola shirt because I want to do it. Um, I first got it when it first opened. So it's around here somewhere in my, my packing because uh, I've been here for two years and I have not packed, unpacked anything. <laughs> so, like all of it. But it had like baked beans made with Coca Cola, chicken wings made with Coca Cola, brownie mm. made with Coca Cola. There was like all sorts of stuff made with Coca Cola. So let, me ask, let me ask, let me ask a dumb question. Do you love Coca Cola? <laughs> <I'm a collector. laughs> Have I you been to the store? Oh, really? The, the cups from McDonald's, you know the yeah. ones yes. that are green, yes. purple. Ooh. I got them all. I got oh, miniature. Shit. That's um, so cool. Coca Cola. I got... What do you think of the store in Disney Springs? Have you tried to like the uh, like the uh, soda flight upstairs and all that? Listen, I need to go to a with adults, okay? Oh, so gotcha. my kids are kids, our gotcha. kids, and I want to go up there because they have a margarita um, one. I think yeah. it's purple Ooh. downstairs. Yeah, it shows like a picture. I'm like, <laughs> I don't mind hanging with my daughter, but they can't funny. drink. Yeah, what's up, Arthur? How are you? Yeah, no, don't stop. Be so. Yes, I've, Listen, I've seen we that. We all Coco. got stuff stashed in the freezer. I, I, I have stuff that. from <laughs> my sweet potato pie from Thanksgiving. I still have it stashed in the freezer. I have a pie left. Oh, wow. Uh, are you that big a fan that you've been to the Coke Museum in Atlanta or not just yet? No, oh, I've never been. Never been? Yeah, I mean, neither. Atlanta, we should go. Yeah, I'm looking right there. Like, Field trip, we should go. Y'all ask me again. Hey. <laughs> 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 oh, you know what was really cool? Your last live stream where you had the Care Bear Lounge by. Did you see that? I thought I hate and, I hate that feeling. I don't know about y'all, but anything like furry, like I don't know what it is with it. I was like, oh, but it's so yeah. cute. It but, is cute. <laughs> you have to be careful with it though. Probably gets mad if you don't take yes. care of that. It's yeah. gonna get matted. Right. If you don't. You know what's it. crazy? The young lady <laughs> never emailed me her address or anything. Get out. The oh, winner. That means that wow. means well, she don't it's want at, it. It's at at gmail.com. I'll take it. That, that, <laughs> that was, it was really cute. For something like that, you have to know where and when to like wear it out. You know. Yeah. Like, you gotta be careful not in the rain or anything like that. But that was cool because what you started rattling off is my childhood with the snorkels and <gasps> Smurfs transforming. Oh, no. I was screaming <laughs> through the screen. Grew up with them all. Strawberry shortcake. Like I yes, was Saturday. When when he, when, um, he said. Alf. I was like, oh, oh yeah. Alf. 
my favorite. Oh. The Christmas one's the best one. Yeah, the Christmas one is the best one. Okay, so let me see how far back you go. Did you watch the Cabbage Patch Christmas special? I used to have one. My Cabbage Patch doll had red hair yeah. and blue eyes. I had one, but I, I love my mom, but I think she got me the knockoff cabbage patch. <laughs> because those are real hard to find back in the day. They were I mean, fighting each other for those. Listen, I bought I had a cabbage. <laughs> Didn't they have the tattoo on the butt? <laughs> on the cabbage patch doll? They came with like the a little certificate. tattoo. I know they smelled, right? I think the face, the cheek smelled or something. No, the strawberry shortcake one. Oh, smelled. yeah. The strawberry shortcake doll. My but daughter, the, I bought her that $100 one, the cabbage patch, the new ones that came out like a couple of years ago. That was spooky because the eyes were like LED. It blinked. It blinked. It cried. Yeah. It cried. It was weird. Drank, like, you, you brought it. Chucky. That's what yeah, you brought. No, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <don't come> <laughs> <laughs> oh, two redheads, Cheryl. Well, I hope if you still have them, they're worth a lot. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Did she get us the real one, Tom? That's my brother, by the way. Um, <laughs> did they get us the real one? Okay. Oh, and two real geeks, we do have a surprise for you guys. So we will be talking geek stuff with you guys. Oh, uh, we're talking geek stuff. Oh. I disrespect you all now. <laughs> oh, damn. oh, without you, okay. Well, we'll have a we'll have a vibe with all of us. But that's pretty cool. And yeah, so she didn't claim that uh prize, huh? That's yeah. no. Usually they'll go straight to my email or they'll go to my Instagram. Maybe she'll pop up tomorrow and say something. Right. Maybe. So maybe default. Is that so? I have a question. Uh, what what um. What's your experience like in the Disney community since you've started? I mm -hmm. have met the most fantastic creators that has started with me, but you know, have had the chance to move way further than me because they have more time. Right. But mm -hmm. congratulations to them. But I have met them and a lot of them have helped me like get on, learn how to use StreamYard, okay. help me to do live, um, like, I meet them at the park. They're so good with my girls. Like, you know, my kids, they are always so well with them and with me too. Um, do I feel like a lot of women have a lot of issues with um, being on YouTube with kids or by themselves and there's a bunch of weirdos? Absolutely. I, you know what I'm saying? That's the sad part. But you put yourself out there so you yeah. know. Right. You know what you're getting yourself into. Right. I know what I'm getting myself into, but I also know that I don't ever. So y'all know up there. Yeah. Y'all hear me? <laughs> I don't ever. <laughs> I don't ever walk by myself. I always have a bodyguard that, especially when I leave at night, they walk me right. to my car. Or if I have anything, even if there's a YouTuber or there's a weirdo around there, I'll just start talking to that to the YouTuber, and they right. can see something wrong, and they'll just yeah. stay with me, and then the person will leave. And that's it. Right, right. But they get vicious on Instagram if you don't pay attention to them. <laughs> oh, oh yes, vicious. oh yes, they do. I, I had a, a recent attack. Oh, <laughs> yo, vicious. They'll start sending like, "Oh, you don't understand English." I'm wow. talking to you, and so is a lot of other people. By talking to you. Now, where do you get these? Like in the comments, on the lives, or on just Instagram? Everywhere? I did get, um, which I always tell my daughters, don't give them anything to right. argue about. Right. But that lasagna suit, there was this dude. Oh my god, he was upset of how I did my suit. Which I never get. Mm. I, I, I do my suit or my my food how I want it. Right. If y'all like it. You like it. If you don't, I, you know, that's your choice. Right. I, but, I ain't even gonna lie. It was good because I had went and got the all the ingredients and I made it myself. It was good. Everything I did, it too. was good. Thank you. But, you know, even if you put a thumbs down, you still watch my thing. Even yep, though right. you, to, you said that, yo, this dude said it looked like dog water, dog food, not a dog what you did, you're insulting Italians and some other craziness. But oh my, my God. oldest was going back and forth. He goes, she was like, instead of you criticizing Gordon Ramsay, why don't you give her a tip or two? Or you know what I'm saying? Right. And then he got worse and worse, and I just erased the whole like comments, and I was like, let's just leave it alone. Right. It, it is what it is. You have people that, but on Instagram, oh, 
I have special ones. And when they get overboard, I know you have followed me for a long time, but you'll see me post their messages. Yeah. I said, this is what this is what you don't do. Right. I'll, right, right. I'll give them respect. I'll cover their face and their name and I show the message. So right. that person sees that I just showed it without oh. showing no face. Right. Don't do that again. So that's kind of ha that has to be hard for uh, your family to see, right? Because, um, mm -hmm. like you said, they want to jump in and defend you, but at the same right. time, doing doing that gives credence to these idiots, and and that's exactly what they want, right? Well, right. Any attention is good attention, so it's that must be hard. But um, yeah, I'm I'm glad you treat them like that, you know, because like you know, Darrell was talking about too, you know, just just in general for, you know. Whether it's uh, Diz Talk on TikTok or YouTube channels, it's hard for women and people of color to kind of forge their way through this, you know, community. Yeah. Right, Darrell? It's just, I mean, and right, yep. Benny? It's just. Mm -hmm. I agree um, 100%. Very true. If you're not in this. And by the way, it's very rare. And I'm glad you found people like that that want to help you. Like even with stream yards or, you know, tech aspects it or is, take the time to do that. It is rare because, you know. Some people forget that they had to start in the beginning. Like, if right. I, my channel ever makes it and it keeps going, I'm not going to sit here and not help the next person. Because the next person was gonna, is going to struggle just like I, I'm struggling, you know what I'm saying, to get right. my feet off the ground. Yeah. Why would I want to see that person struggle if I could help them? Right. It's all about lifting each other up. But some people see it as, well, if I tell you what helped me, then you might surpass me or you're coming for me and whatever all that like stupid way of thinking like it's all just a competition and you know all that stuff and people get cut through but you know i'm gonna say yeah. this people that yeah. think that way that you're a competition maybe they need to step their game up on what they're doing because maybe they are a competition to you and you're not doing what you should be doing but you know what you should be doing pretty much a two-way street exactly yeah. it is a toxic way of thinking and uh you know, I you know, I follow Sean in Orlando. You know Sean in Orlando? I follow him on TikTok. And he kind oh, yeah. of, like, opens, you know, my eyes to some of the stuff. You know, he talks about how he was shunned. You know, how he was with these guys, like uh, Tim Tracker and Adam Wu and all these guys. And then all of a sudden, he found himself for no reason. Well, for reasons, but for no logical reason for him, ostracized from the community. And, you know, he found himself pulling back from YouTube. He made his way back to, you know, TikTok. And he's making a name for himself again, but uh, and the pineapple princess does a good job at exposing these people, but I don't know, it's toxic, and that's the reason why I took a break too because I just wasn't, I don't know, feeling like I wanted to be part of that. But uh, recently, uh, we started this back up again because we hang out in real life and we just wanted to do something positive and fun, so um, yeah, so let's see what two wheel geeks said. Uh, Trolls make our day because they just want to fight with them, but they get blocked. Yeah. Yeah. I, my, my partner, Ead, like, he lives for the trolls. Me like, too. <laughs> like, I'll be on Facebook and Instagram at like, 3 in the morning, trolls. and I catch all his fights. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> There's no reason to do that. I don't have problems with it either. I I right. enjoy myself and my and my co like my coworkers and us. I'll be joking. I'll be like, look at this one. Right. You know, you know, and we start <laughs> laughing and they'd be like, Hillem, are you serious? You're laughing. Because yeah. I'm okay, I'm safe, I'm in a safe place. But right. if you let them like ruin your fun, you know what I'm saying, and get you off your mood, you're just gonna step backwards and you have to take a longer time to get back where you were at. So you you, you felt that on Disney property in Disney Springs and the like you you felt that level of like concern for your safety? No. Nope. Oh okay. Oh absolutely okay. not because okay because you you for you to come to me right they're gonna have to call me from Milwaukee right I ain't coming down if I don't know you if I'm right. upstairs I can look through the up down to the balcony or anything and see who you are if I don't know you because I've had people visit me but people mm -hmm. I know and I allow and I. You know, they right. call me to come down and I could see you. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I know them. You know, I, I yeah. yeah, of course. Oh, go got uh, Orlando, Emma and Sean. Um, they were my last pictures. Um, no, you guys were. But the couple, they came from overseas. Moved wow. there. I've been following them forever. You know, right. how nice are they? They came to give me a hug. I mean, those are genuine people. Right. 
But when you're sending right. me messages on Instagram, weird ones too at that, and then you pop mm. up at my job, you'll get your ass kicked out. Uh, uh, creep status. No, I, I understand that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, 100%. You will people. get kicked out. Right. When I say uh, I'm going to be somewhere and you're there, and I yeah. tell you to be there, right. and you just pop out the blue, but you didn't have plans to go there, because usually you, you, you mention where you're going to go. You right. just pop there because I just said that? No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, anyone needs help, you can find us as well. Thank you to Real Geeks. We've been around for a bit and want to collab. And there are out. some real good, genuine YouTubers that are willing yeah. to help. You know, it is adventures of Mike and Steph. Right, yeah, I love Mike them dearly, and they they oh, have helped yeah. me in the beginning when I first started. And right. there are people out there that, that that will help you. You know, they were the first ones I met. Oh, really? Yes, and Madi Goss. I was sitting there eating, I forgot what it was, these meatball thingies, but I was sitting and they liked my microphone. It was, my, I have a microphone for breast cancer. It's pink, a fluffy pink. And he came out to me, he goes, I love that, that mic. And from there on. Yeah, Mike's a good dude. Him. He's very sociable yeah. and mm -hmm. he's a really gentle, kind soul. So he's, he's really cool. Uh, Cheryl said, that's the side I don't like. It's so toxic. We don't have to be BFFs, but don't treat people like that. Yeah, I don't understand adults liking Disney. And be, Well, have you? How, are you in the pass all the groups, by the way? <laughs> are you? Because they are the worst people a lot. Uh, I hate being around the bigger channel. I'd rather be around small channels. They are more fun. Yeah, I mean, because the bigger channels give you, they have that sense of superiority. Some pages have lost. Not, all, not only that, the bigger channels give you that thickness. Because they 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 feel as though they have this brand or this, then they can't be them, right? And that's they where the problem filter. comes in. That's what that's what I consider. They put up a filter. They have to be yeah. the Mola man in the but house. They have to. I mean, Anthony. You know, but yeah, don't don't be don't be that kind of person. Yeah. yeah. Once you make it big, remember you were small at some mm -hmm. point. You yeah. know what I mean? Always Mola man. Money. Right. How can you not want to give back? It makes no sense. Like your success is not going to ruin like my success. Yeah, you know, and we have some good channels in the house, like Two Real Geeks and Mike and Steph and um, Anthony and Moleman and um, yeah. who else? The Journey Awaits. Like these are genuine, like good people. And by um, the way, you guys go and follow my friends at The Journey Awaits, and also yeah. the Love at Disney as well. Yeah, we're we're gonna get to Journey Awaits in a little bit, but yeah, these are please you know just search their channels and it, they're just great. Um, and Anthony Mola, man, his match games on Monday night is just blowing up. Um, right. Yeah, I was oh. on it. I loved it. Were you? I love it. Yeah, I love I watching was on it. For Valentine's Day. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I have to go back and check oh, that my out. God, it was so fun. It I was feel fun. like I would be nervous on that. Were you nervous? In the beginning, yeah. Yeah. You're like, it's okay. And then once the it started, you're like, oh, okay. Right. <laughs> but I, I feel you. I feel like I'd be really dirty on that show. I'm not sure how R-rated he gets. Well, that's the fun of it. I mean, being a but that's risque. the fun of it. Yeah, right, that's but, the fun of it. But I'll have to ask him, like, how far you go. <laughs> yeah. How far <laughs> down the rabbit hole do you want to go? <laughs> oh, look, at, look at Two Real Geeks, a good channel. We are epic on a real world. Thanks for saying that. Yeah, no problem. We love you guys. We love. And, oh, and they're, they're about to have a stream at 10 o'clock tonight, which we're hoping to join, too. Because I need my double dose of chaos today. <laughs> what channel is that one? Um, uh, that is two real geeks. Two real geeks. Yeah. Real yeah. Geeks. Yeah. Everyone is nervous. It goes away. PG thirteen at best. <sighs> All right. I, I might sign that contract. Well, sure. well, well, Brian. I don't know if you can sign that contract. Yeah. If you do anything. No, PG. I will. I, I would never. I would yeah. never. Listen, just because that's me doesn't mean I want to impose that on anyone else. I would never go on that channel and do that. Because I know, you know, some people have a brand. Some people, some people want to be. Listen, there are channels out there that want to be recognized by Disney. I'm not one of them, but that doesn't mean like I want to be filthy just to be filthy. <laughs> um, I did want to share, by the way. Um, I wanted to share your uh, your what your logos look like. Those are cool. Those are really cool. Yeah, you... the lady from Etsy really got me. Like yeah. my earrings, my hair, like. My little bun. I mean, she did a wonderful job. She probably gave me a little bit too much hip on the left picture of the Love <laughs> Disney. I, I wish I had those hips, girls. Right. But yeah, she did wonderful. Red nails. Come on, she did perfect. Right, great job with it. I mean, it stands out. It's really cool. Um, so, are you willing? I mean, I'm sure there's gonna be more stuff coming. In. Wait, what? Now you just want to be filthy? That might be true. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Oh, okay, so they're not streaming tonight. Okay. Okay. Oh, all right. So I could pass out on the couch then. <laughs> Love her logo. Subscribe. To oh, very cool. Thank you. Thank you. That's Cheryl from Journey we Awaits. <gasps> yes. Yeah, so, really cool. so, are you willing to throw down with some of the news with us? I don't care. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay so first up what we're going to talk we have quite a few things to get through but not everything is like so deep but um we do have this one disney refuses to remove reference to two moms and upcoming dr strange in the multiverse of madness okay say that twice so i'm gonna go on real quick at the risk of boring people so saudi arabia's general supervisor nawaf al-saban said disney is unwilling to remove barely 12 seconds from the film in which Gomez's character, which I don't know, refers to her two moms. Um, it's just her talking about her moms because she has two moms. And being in the Middle East, it's very tough to pass something like that. So he said, Doctor Strange 2 will never be banned, adding there's no reason to ban the film. It's just a simple edit. You know, take it out. So far, they have refused, but we haven't closed the door. So last year, Marvel's Eternals was banned in the region due to a scene featuring a gay kiss. And Warner Brothers actually uh, made headlines after it agreed to remove gay references to Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. So so they could uh, preview it in China. So uh, what do we think about that? Don't do you think me. do you think do you think it should cater to you know the regions and their cultures? Um, if they want to actually play their movie and make money off of it, they ain't got yeah. no choice. Yeah. Right. Do you think Disney's gonna go ahead and call their bluff and say forget it? Well, like, I mean you know, it depends. It, I mean, it doesn't really matter what we think about it. Like, they, well, they no, might look at the numbers. Well, yeah. in the wake if of what's the money, going, then in the wake of what's going on with them, though, do you think they might remove it or keep it? You think they might feel the pressure to keep it uh, as is and say, "Screw you," then we just won't show it. Um, you know, I'm it talking about upon, controversy. Yeah, no offense to anyone, but Disney is money hungry right now, so it depends <laughs> upon how those numbers look. If it looks like right. it's not going to gross them that much, they might risk right. it. But yeah. if it's going to like, hurt their pocket, they're going to edit it. Right. And that's not offensive. They're a business. They're all about making money. We know that. I, I just think maybe like the, what they've been going through the past month or so is on the forefront. I'm not sure if that's going to be like weighing on their head or not. Or maybe we're giving them too much credit. Um. So I don't know. Okay. So moving on. Uh, Johnny, have you guys been following oh. this? I have, yeah. So I have been on, been on YouTube watching all the funny yeah. clips that this dude. He can't. I can't take him serious. Yo, he has oh, made me laugh through the whole thing. Yes, yes. I find it. Uh, yeah, he's having. He has a lot of comical moments in court. This is going on now three weeks. If you haven't already heard, it's Johnny Depp versus his wife Amber Heard about an article, an op-ed article where she talked about being abused. Now she didn't mention his name. But Disney and everyone else just folded and just canceled him everywhere. So he lost about $650 million. Uh, dollars. Um, so, yeah, it came from that, just that article where she didn't even name him. But uh, he, the fallout was strong. Dior, I think the fragrance company, the clone were the only ones to stand by him. So, uh, yeah. Uh, they should have got their facts straight before they start firing and pit, um Yes. Nope. Stop jumping the gun. I agree. It's I I think in some cases it's warranted. I don't think it was warranted in this. I think in many cases nowadays they just jump the gun and cancel everyone. But um, you know, it, it's a reason behind why they jump the gun and cancel everyone. It's because okay. they don't want that fear of oh bad publicity behind our name. And and I get that. But again, like Many people say, do your research first before you actually do it, but, you know. <laughs> right, and I can understand that thinking, but she didn't even name him, though. So no, why would didn't. they drop him, you know? And she could have been talking about her ex that she was married to, that she actually got into an abusive relationship where she was charged with a crime for domestic violence. So Right. And I think she went on after Johnny Depp to date Elon Musk a little Um and everything, there's some weird stuff like she pooped in his bed, and <laughs> yeah. she oh, man, she's man. recording him. I think in California legally without him knowing. Um, she mm -hmm. even said she they closed almost. I think this week by saying they played a video of her saying, "You know who's gonna believe that? You know, a man go ahead. Hit, yeah, there you go. Like a man was was under a domestic violence. Who will believe that? That's what she was trying to say. Right. 
Right. But you know, in that case, you have to watch more than just what you're hearing. Like you can tell he's actually telling his side of the story. And anytime he's he referenced to her and what she did to him, she will look up and she will look at him with this glaze, like, yeah, I did it and right. <laughs> That's her body language. Right. Yeah, the, the whole, language, whole just everything. Yeah, body language, and she's been wearing like his like bounding as him the next day in court wearing him sa- his same outfit and the colors <laughs> it's an intimidation tactic my co-worker se- showed me that i was yeah. like yeah right and then she was like look at the button and the tie look at the gray suit and like the next day and the next day i was like oh yeah, yeah right and yeah. if you watch like during the right, trial <laughs> what what's up benny i said coco's right this is cray <laughs> yeah yeah um well i'm gonna say this you know you know if you watch it live like i do sometimes you'll notice certain- when the jury leaves, her face is like all jokey jokey. Um, mm-hmm. But she she's really trying to like cry, understand. And I think uh, win or lose for Johnny Depp, I think he won the public opinion. I don't think she won it at all. So if um, he doesn't win it, I think he still proved, you know, you know, and don't get me wrong. Like, I think Johnny Depp is a little wacky. You know, I don't think he's like crazy innocent. But in this situation... I'm siding with him, I think. I mean, it's a defamation suit. But have they asked him to come back for filming or no? No, so they're not. I, we don't know yet. They, they're probably waiting to hear the verdict at the end, yeah. and then they might make a decision. You think yeah. he'll go back, though? No. I don't, I don't know. know. If he's if talking some serious money, he may. Never say, Well, yeah. I, yeah, I, I agree with you, Real. Never say never. I, but I don't think he will. I, I think he okay. will remember who turned his back on. Yeah, you know, so. for- that's true too. You know, but we'll see how it goes. I guess, right? Yeah, um, yeah and the see. lawyers. Yeah, Karina, the lawyers. Well, the uh, she picked. Yo. <laughs> they have they, they objected their own witness. I was like, what? He's yeah. like, that's hearsay. And the lady was like, right. you asked the question. I'm like, yeah. oh, yeah, that was a little a little weird. Um, yeah, it was a little weird. But uh, let's see what's up next. Hopefully, we can enter some. Okay, so I don't know if anyone's a big fan, but 2D hand-drawn animation is returning to Disney. Um, on April 27th, Disney will premiere Sketchbook, a six-part documentary about the art of hand-drawn animation. Mm. The documentary will tell stories of six key Disney artists as they draw some of the company's most iconic characters. And Goldberg, which is one of the artists, reveals that Disney is making steps to bring back 2D. Last year, the company launched their first 2D training program in over a decade. decade. Six out of 12,000 applicants were wow. selected. And pretty much they're saying they have plans for upcoming 2D films and a series for Disney Plus that will include original art, artwork and revamps of catalog material. So what do we think about that? Are we, just, are we missing I'm those styles of an- animation? I think the last one was uh, Winnie the Pooh. In 2011 and 2009, uh, oh, Princess and the Frog. Mm-hmm. So those are the last mm-hmm. two that were using uh, 2D hand-drawn animation. So, and then you know, Toy Story came along and knocked that out of the ballpark. So and Pixar changed the thing, everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, six out of twelve thousand. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, but back in the day, when you took the tram at MGM, I don't know if you guys remember it. It would it would go by artist drawing. Yes. Yes, right, I remember that. Yes. Okay, like I vaguely remember that. So yeah, it was a uh, one of the tours that it was a yeah, hour and yeah. a half long tour or something like that. Yeah, like it was, it was like two the hours back long. lot, right? Was mm-hmm. it called the back, back lot? There was a back lot tour. Was the tram and walking as well. Right. Okay, we can do without the walking, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm... I don't know. I was nine years old at the time, so <laughs> right, right. I'm glad to see it back. Um, I think Disney Plus is having Disney Plus is great because it's a chance to kind of like, okay, if they're not going to bring it back full time, they can experiment there. You know, I don't know. That's what I think. Uh, so let's move on. Uh, okay, so they announced their uh, slate of movies. What do we think about this? It's um, a lot of Marvel movies. You see any? I know it's always a lot of Marvel movies. Uh, and I know about the another Haunted Man, the Haunted Mansion. I knew I heard about that. Wait, yeah, they're making another say. Indiana Jones. Yeah. Yeah. Little, yeah. yeah, Little Mermaid. I want to see the Little yeah, Mermaid. Live. It's gonna be live like it's a Cinderella. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, what Little Mermaid? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. I, I might see. I might have to see that one. A uh, Haunted Mansion, I think, stars Danny DeVito, Tish, Tiffany Haddish, and some other people. Um, 
Yeah, anything that stands I, out. I, I'm interested in Haunted Mansion. I have a question about Indiana Jones. Are they bringing yes, back the old man? Um, yes, he is. He's passing the torch, I believe, in this one. Harrison Ford, yeah. Harrison Ford, yeah. I don't know. Didn't Shia LaBeouf play his son? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was the worst Indiana that Jones movie Indiana, ever. Yeah, but, exactly. you know. It was the worst Indiana Jones movie. I liked it because it was just fun, but yeah, the believability factor with him hiding in the refrigerator when a nuke went off, that was a bit much. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Benny, you're a big Marvel guy, right? Or no? Uh, I'm, I've watched mostly every single Marvel movie, yeah. I'm waiting for Doctor Strange to come out. And Avatar, and, Way of the Water is finally fucking coming out. I don't know. I'm I like to see Avatar. That Black Panther. You do? I love Avatar. Okay, so let me ask you. Think, you do you think people all this time later still have an interest in it? You think it'll be a hit? I mean, it's a hit right now over there at Animal Kingdom. The rides right. and stuff like that is still popping over there. Right. Those lines right. be long. You know, probably will people will watch that sequel. I'll, I'll be watching. I'll watch it. Yeah, me too. I'll watch it. Oh. I did. I did like the first one. Um, I need to go back. I don't know. I'm just not movie. interested in looking at blue people. <laughs> okay. Listen, hey, you don't have to watch it. <laughs> I, I feel like that movie is not for you, definitely. But I do want to see the Bob's Burgers movie. What is that? Yeah, oh, me too. That's a show me that too. was on Fox for a while. On Fox. And oh it's supposedly based on Ocean City, New Jersey. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I want to yeah, see that. Joint there. Okay, very cool. All right. So, um, moving on, just a real quick tidbit. <laughs> what face masks are no longer required on Disney Cruise Line <laughs> bus and terminal, but um, on some places uh, on the ship it's required, but mostly on the ship is optional. Um, yeah. Just what do we think about that? Anything? Uh, do you guys have you guys been on a cruise before mm, with Disney? Never I, been on a cruise. I want to get on one, never been. I went on one during the pandemic and I like Castaway Key, but I don't know, it just didn't feel now, and I love that. Discuss this about me in boats, yes. <laughs> yes. The gators yeah. are gonna get them, right? Right, right. <laughs> yeah. And glass bottom boats, I think you do fine on a cruise ship, but um, you yeah. know. But um, I want to get on it, but my daughter doesn't. They like no, those things sink and stuff like that. <laughs> mm-hmm. see, see, thank you. I think she will walk around with like a floating device the whole time around. Mm-hmm. I sure will. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Karina, just going back. Lightyear is the new like serious kind of take. It's it's still fun, but it's, it's a backstory more, of Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, backstory of Buzz Lightyear, like the guy that influenced the toy Buzz Lightyear. Mm-hmm. So. Um, I feel the lines are long in Pandora due to the ride type and not many rides in the park. Mm-hmm. Right. Love Disney Cruise. So worth it. Eh. We have been on two Disney Cruises. I've been on one. Uh, I think they're very expensive. Uh, I think they're very cool, but I, I just assume going on like Oasis of the Seas and stuff like that. Um, of course, I don't have kids. If I had kids, it might be a different story, but um, I think everyone should experience it. Uh, pretty cool. I, I, I have one on the wish coming up in the fall just to get on the wish and see how it is but anybody learning <laughs> Honda, uh, see, thank you I, thank yeah. you yeah because you know in the caribbean we're gonna hit iceberg you just <laughs> never know you never know well you know what not to get all doom and gloom but there are and it hasn't happened on disney of course but like there are a lot of uh ac- have you noticed accidents happening like people going overboard on cruises like 10 this mm-hmm. year so far I don't know what's happening, but it's kind of crazy. You know, there are a real thing as pirates as well. Yes, there are. Mm-hmm. And honestly, when you're on that uh, balcony at night and you look out, it is, I mean, when you really think about it, it's creepy. I mean, all you see is just blackness. There's just nothing there. And I think uh, there should be more board, <laughs> like clear glass, high glass that nobody could fall over. I mean, you could see that yeah. air's coming, but for me, like for nobody to fall right. over more. You know what I'm saying? That should be a cover up. Yeah. I mean, it's beautiful hanging out on the balcony, but like sometimes your thoughts get to you. Uh, hey, Jaquita, what's up? Welcome in and good evening. Marvel coming Hi, out with Jaquita. a new hero. I'm Muerto, the dead. Is this a hero for zombies? I don't know. Isn't this the, um, Benny, is this the character played by uh, Bad Bunny? E, I think so. Yeah. I don't know much history behind it, so I'm the wrong person to yeah. ask. Yeah. Royal Caribbean is way cheaper than Disney. Long swim back to shore. That's listen, Jaquita. That's exactly. if you're lucky. If you're lucky, exactly. Yeah. I don't mean I don't mean to be morbid, but a lot of people will get like 
sucked in by those motors in the back. It's creepy. Uh, chances of them finding you at night are like slim and none. So, yeah, happy times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so moving on to the 4th of July, there is a rumor that, and this is just all we have right now, because those nights uh, around the July 4th, they have canceled the Enchantment Show. So people are thinking 4th of July fireworks are coming back. Has anyone experienced 4th of July? Not in Disney? No, I, I, I refuse to go to Disney 4th of July. Tell me why. There's Tell me way why. too many people. Too many people. Too many yeah. people. They I mean, are like crazy enough, it, but... but mm-hmm. I'm going yeah. to elbow somebody in the face. Huh? It's not what I want to do. Yeah, this is <laughs> the last two years that have been no shows. So this year looks like I might be making come come back. So, um, but I was there my first year that I moved down here or got the house down here in 2017. I went, I just went for the 4th of July. I didn't know how special they treat it, but I was on Jungle Cruise as the fireworks were going off. And it was like a war. It was oh, like, I do, they were doing the perimeter all around you. Yes. Yes, it was coming from all sides. Off, that one island on Seven Seas Lagoon, they shoot off there, and a couple along yeah. the highways. No, not the highways, the the roadways. Yeah, it's it, it's pretty cool. They do treat it special, but I, not knowing better now, I would agree with Darrell. I probably wouldn't even bother. Uh, I'll, um, I'll watch the live stream. I'm, all right, well, that, exactly. <laughs> watch the live streamers. Okay, so okay, a lot of things coming out of this. So ho- halfway to Halloween. <laughs> Disney's really hyping up on TikTok. Everything happening this year. Uh, Mickey's not so scary is returning, right? Uh, anyone been to that? Do we care about it returning? I've been to not uh, so I've scary, never been. but um, oh, I think it's go. worth it. It depends on how much it is. If it was back in the seventy dollar range, seventy five dollar range, I would say yes. Right, but if My it's going to be a hundred plus, I believe it's one oh nine in was August. Expensive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. last year was more expensive. But what's getting me, guys, is I did that video with those buckets that they're trying to sell for more. Um, the mummy bucket, the Mickey yes. bucket. Uh-huh. I found mm-hmm. that at the warehouse a couple weeks ago, and now you're trying to sell it for original price after we right. just got it for fourteen. At the, at the warehouse, yeah, like you said, fourteen bucks. Yeah. And now you're full pricing it. I don't know. What do you think? They're just kind of get rid of it. I think it's cool that they have like halfway to Halloween merch out, but like. I could go get it for 14 bucks. Yeah, yeah so Two Real Geeks say it starts at 109 and then it can mm-hmm. get up to 175 I think that's too much. Depending the 175 year. Yeah. That, that's too much. Well, the closer to Halloween, the more it uh the higher the price gets. Because it starts in August. Because I saw one. It's, and it's like, if you take that $175, oh, no. you can yeah. go and buy your own candy for, for 20 bucks. Right. All no, the candy yeah. you want. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I mean, again, I don't have kids, but I don't, that's something I totally skip. I don't do the trick or treating. Like you said, you could go to Walgreens and get like 10 buckets of it. Yeah. Like, I mean, if it was something like unique, that'd be one thing. But um, so this year, for this is the only thing I saw in the description that they're promising is different step in photo opportunities, as well as a 50th anniversary like print and trick or treat bag. So, what is a step Maybe. in opportunity? I don't get that. I think it's like a photo booth, maybe sort of, kind of, where there's like no characters, right? Or it might like be, that. it might not be. Yeah. Have any of you, uh, have any of you met the characters here? I try, I can't. It's just too many people. No, uh, no yeah. I'm not into characters. I got kids, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm into tomorrow them. for sure. Tomorrow. Right. For sure. I'm I'm into them. I just I can't wait. Like. You waste half the party waiting for the seven dwarves, which you know I get oh. is a very cool photo op, but I think this might be the first year in a while. Like I just don't go. That's very expensive. Ooh, uh, the first year I came I down here, might go just to go. Oh really? For one time, yeah. Well, I'm probably gonna you... do it the day after my birthday. It's on the nineteenth. It starts in August, so I'm gonna be down there already. So I might as well just get the ticket for is that night. Is this true? They claim that the mummy is different from what I hear, just slightly off. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know really... about. See, I, I I'd rather go to that too, the Halloween horror. Yes. I'd rather both. go to that. Than... <laughs> I'm gonna go to both. Huh? <laughs> this is my first time, so. Larry, thanks so much for that. Compliment. But yeah, Dur- I mean, um, Benny, I think you should try it. You know, no matter yeah. what people say, definitely you have to try it for yourself. You know, uh, it's my um, birthday week. I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna treat oh, myself. <laughs> yeah, look at you giving a pop for you. Yeah, definitely week. go. You know. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so if I can get a uh, ticket for seventy five dollars, I'll go. But I'm not paying more than seventy. Right. Sorry. So in addition to some of these announcements, we have Halloween on the high seas, 
and um, we're gonna get these guys here on the ship. Oh, um, I would love to that's see so cool. a movie of that. Right, it would be me cool. too. Yeah. All three of them. Hey, me too. So that's uh, Daisy, Mickey Mouse, and Clarabelle, right? Mm -hmm. Dressed up as Hocus Pocus. That's for. Did I? What did I say? Mickey, <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Oh, <laughs> well, I don't want to assume her gender. It might be Mickey. Uh, but yeah, Minnie and Clarabelle. So that, yeah, that'd be a cool photo op. Um, and what else? So this is on the Wish. The, the atrium is going to look like this on the Wish, that's uh, which cool. I think is cool. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, I don't know if it's enough to spend nine thousand dollars on a cruise, but it's it's definitely cool. Um, so what I really want to show you guys was some of the food. That looks um, so good. Well, so I don't know about pickle and hot dog, but yeah, pickles. No thanks. So here's the real deal. I didn't go much into this because most of the stuff is gone tomorrow, May first. That's when they stop doing it. There's some stuff that goes to the fourth. I know the popcorn buckets go to like July something. So, um, but yeah, on the right here is. Uh, what do they call it? Uh, churro with something I forget. Spooky churro, and on the left is um, I want the churro. Yeah, the churros the churro. look good. good <laughs> on those churros, man. they never do look that good, but they, they, it looks good. <laughs> but the dog inside the pickle with the cheddar cheese uh, on top, we're not liking, right? No, no. by the way, he lost, lost me at pickle. By the way, this is Disneyland Resort, you could get this at. Uh, this is also at the Ganachery. I got the pops. <laughs> so I have a question. Why yeah. does Disneyland Resort always get interesting and new food? And we can't get that here at Disney World. We always get bland stuff. It. I don't and understand. A it. lot of repeats. Right. So this is a little hot cocoa bomb. It's cute. Um, eh, it's cute. Uh, this is at the Grand Floridian. I think this is cute, though. They have the icing and shake. Like that. Yeah, but, yeah, that's cool. But, okay, but how much you want to bet when you get this? It won't look like this. Oh, uh, that's super. I think it will. I think yeah. it will. When it comes Maybe to the... this kind of stuff, they do make it look like that. Yeah, I okay. think it will. Well, I hope. I mean, if you're advertising as that, it better look like that. Okay, that's all I'm saying. This is what we get. This cheap ash. Look at this. <laughs> we got this push pop in Disneyland oh. Resort. Gets all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of the Flintstones ice creams. You know, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Remember that guy? The yeah, the push pop. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I remember that. Wow. <laughs> well, did you get it from the ice cream truck that came around or no? It was so, cream, always the ice cream truck. Yeah, the corner Listen. store. The, yeah, the, I was living together, the little man. Bands with ice cream. <laughs> Did you get those quarter drinks back in the day? Like with the yeah, little quarter little waters? Yeah. yeah, quarter waters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Lord. <laughs> uh, okay, and here are the buckets. Like we said, available yeah, to like that. July. Yep, $14.99 uh, bucket that you could have got a couple weeks ago. Right. Wow. Or even, what, last year when they did this? Mm -hmm. So and people, this is why you know like Javier from Have a Wonderful Day. We talk about this is FOMO, this fear of missing out. People killing each other for these last year, and look at this. People are saying they're walking they're up in, in Disney Springs and just getting it. Um, well, I, I I think the Jack Skeleton bucket is pretty cool. Um, not does it glow in the dark? Yes, yes, I have it over there, but the batteries are not in it. But I wasn't feeling this mummy. Um, I just feel like you got every popcorn bucket. No, he's not telling <laughs> us. Uh, only a couple. He's, he's uh, hiding a figment one back there. Listen, he said only a couple, and he put out a whole wall full of popcorn buckets. <laughs> okay, so they also announced in the next couple of slides, I'm going to show you the merch preview for this year, and I want your thoughts on this. So, um, obviously, uh, this is not all of them, and I don't have the prices for now because we'll go into it more and more. They're all expensive. It, it's just like, you know, what, what are you interested in? You see anything here that pops out? That yeah, I like not really, but I I would... Skeletons is pretty cool, but I want to get it. Okay. That that hat on the right is ugly. I don't like it. The pumpkin with the stuff. ears. Yes, it is ugly. I do like, for <laughs> yeah, some reason, I do like the one in the middle. Though. Like the little ghost with the Mickey hat is cute. Uh, that's it's cool. Cute. One. It's not like Disney threw up on it. It's like you have to get the little. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Um, I do like the skeleton jersey because that's different, at least. You know, than what you usually see. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. And what about these things? <laughs> these things. I don't even know how to describe. Them. I guess they're mugs, <laughs> cups. Uh, there's tarot cards on the left. I sir. think the mini ears are, are decent. Yeah, I was different. Say, the color from the thing made me look like it was like a Beetlejuice kind of theme. With yeah, the I thought about bow. that too. Yeah, yeah. I, that's what I thought right. too. Right, right. Yeah, that's right. a good point. Yeah, they're okay. I like uh, the zero. <laughs> the zero's, zero's cool. cool. 
<laughs> Karina cool. said the spirit jersey was kind of cute. All right, let's check up with the audience what they're saying. I mm. just want that for wallpaper. Flintstone vitamins. I could take <laughs> me too. Oh, they- <laughs> <laughs> like the powder, right? The powder. It's kind uh, of- y'all remember it's that chalky? Oh, oh yes, yes. Corner yeah, stores. The I call them. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they, they were open all night, and they had everything. After you come off the subway from a late night, uh, the hat is from last year. Oh, damn, Disney! What you doing? Uh, we have the cards already. Damn, what is Disney doing? All right, so maybe this is just also not park maybe it's just in target too where they have a deal maybe the ears general, are kind yeah. of boring i kind of like the ears they're, they're, i'm not an ear collector but they look bright mm-hmm. at least um darrell i saved this one for you what do you think of this, these two bags i don't like it because i know you're a bag collector you don't like the I don't like one mm-hmm. okay that was really busy yeah, yeah. i was yeah. gonna say the same thing yeah it's, it's too, too much, much going, going on, on in that one and i don't like the mickey ears sticking out either what do you think of the haunted mansion bag is that what it's that is? Too, Hunted Mansion bag? It's, it's, I wouldn't even know that was Hunted Mansion. Yeah. It's too plain Jane. Yeah, too plain. I think it says Kiss the Bride or something. It says Kiss the Bride. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. And it's a weird, I don't know. It's a weird yeah. shape for me. I don't like the shape either. But yeah. I'll wear the I'll wear the duster around the park. That's for sale, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wear I'll wear my Moo down Main Street. But uh okay. So, uh, snack alert. We have some new snacks. So, uh, this is in Hollywood Studios. This is an orange vanilla shake. Uh, what do we oh, this that looks bottle. good. It comes with a side shot of insulin. Uh, hey, I'm, I'm gonna need it after that. It's garnished that with it's good. 10 bucks. Good. Is it 10 bucks good? Uh, I, don't I don't know because the one in on um, chocolate euphorium, yes, that's like 10 bucks and it's like a mountain of, yeah, <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> yeah, you. That's your I don't know. <laughs> right. Okay. I mean, uh, I wouldn't be against trying it. I mean, it looks kind of cool. I guess it looks good um, though. Really yeah. good. I love orange school. Anything that's orange and I do. I, I do too. <laughs> I like. I like citrus flavor stuff. So yeah. next up is the pretzel bread pudding. Um, and you that can get this too. Uh, yeah, I kind of miss. Is that like that. a pudding? I, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. It's spongy inside. Mm-hmm. Um, did you see this passing Epcot? When you yeah, I wanted to go back to get it, and I'm just like, I was, I was kicking myself in the ass after leaving, and I was like, I could have had this, and I totally forgot to get this because <laughs> I was right. I was around the area, like, uh, I was there all night. <laughs> that I was so good. good. I would definitely you, try it. Yeah, I would try it. Yeah, I mean, as is, if it looks like I, I can say definitely. this though, even though we don't have great food at Walt Disney World, we do be having some good desserts. Mm-hmm. Yes. Very true. Okay, moving on. Another bag, Darrell. King Triton. What do we think about no, this? Lounge, lounge I don't like really? it. I do like the colors. Um, oh, I like the guy. color of... Yeah, face I like the charm. Right in your face. Yes. The, the charm the, is cool. Yeah. The what do they call that? The, the trident. trident. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like the trident for sure. And I do like the colors. Um, I'm not big on the big crown thing because I think like the extra stuff they put on lend us, like I said before with the other bag, you have to know where and when, wear it for special occasions. You're not wearing that every day, right? Um, that's, what, that's why I got my mom the uh, Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway one because it's not so, there's nothing really sticking off of it. Right. It's, you know, it's so a good color. So I want to address <laughs> some of the comments for a second. Cheryl's giving a big nope, I think, nope. to a lot of this stuff. <laughs> Am I going to say all I'm going to say is toothsome best shakes? Yeah, he is. A, he is a now that I, 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 I there, can though. say that yes, they are good. And they have good Sundays too. <laughs> <I'll never> <laughs> okay, what is Disney doing with food? Why they just want to mess up everyone's mouth? Um, <laughs> the only backpack I like is the Mater backpack from Lounge Fly. Okay, I haven't seen that. I'm, I'm not a big lounge flight person, but I will check out. Like when I see the bags, I'll I'll check them out because there are some that I find cute. But like I said, if I wear them, it's gonna look like uh, like a little tic tac on my back. I don't think it's gonna look good. For me. <laughs> and I also don't want to carry it around all day, you know. So, all right, so let's go back. Um, Darrell, do you want to you want to talk for a minute about uh, your experience with Universal? Uh, Universal, what, isn't it with Universal the walkway? I, I thought it was. Or your 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 uh, universal argument you had in the Facebook group? Oh, you mean my Disney argument? Oh, yeah. The, the 
It was actually oh, in a Disney blog, a Disney um, pass holder oh. thing. Oh, okay. So I did get it into a discussion with someone. Um, basically, you know the walkways, the moving walkways, and they were saying that they should put a label on them saying either stand here or walk along the walkway here. And yeah. I stated that they shouldn't because if you want to walk, there's a sidewalk. Walk along the sidewalk. Because there's a lot of people, especially elderly people that I see in the parks, they like to just stand there and just yeah. go along with it. Then I see rude people, especially tourists, they just come along and push them out the way. And then that's not cool. If you want to walk, that's just walk on the sidewalk. <laughs> so I did get into a little altercation with someone. Uh, they wanted to be a Karen. They stated to me, basically, if they see me in the park, they will push me out the way. And I told them, you bad. Try it. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say because it, there was no reason to take it to that level. I was just explaining my thought process on it on just be courteous and walk on the sidewalk instead of trying to yeah. walk on right. the moving walkway. I he's feel not like he's not lying. Right. People who move on the moving walkway just want to flex. They're like, oh, I feel walk too. Then walk on the sidewalk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like and the people are always walking like they got attitude like oh you're just gonna stand there yeah hell you yeah right. I'm gonna stand there right? <laughs> like after like 14 hours in the park hell yeah I'm gonna take advantage of these moving yeah. walkways what the fuck no I um, it could have been in the, in the universal group two wheel geeks it, but I think it was Disney because I think Disney was talking about it the Disney he, he, was talking he about said it. he enjoyed your comments he saw them there <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but yeah, uh, like I was telling you guys before, it's a slippery slope. I know, Darrell, you don't care. I, I I, recently put some comments, but the man, both sides, all those Facebook groups are kind of vicious. They rarely help people out. And the ones that are asking genuine questions, they jump on. It's just, it's annoying because these are adults into Disney. Oh, yeah, this lady was vicious because she wanted to fight me. She was like, I'm going to push you. Okay. If you want to take it there, then okay, try it. <laughs> yeah, but just know for every the, action there is a reaction. Just, just I don't. Very true. And that's how well, I was getting you know, your Magic Kingdom, <laughs> right? And and I suggest before you guys fight, um, call me so I can film it for our channels. <laughs> That'd be great. Okay, so moving on to better things. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Not all old ladies are hopeless. I agree. Uh, I agree. You know what? You know what I do with my mom. <clears throat> she was calm at Magic Kingdom, bro. <laughs> uh, I put these on. I was just Christmas. looking like she wanted to, to to like really go in on that lady. I seen it on her oh, facial she really expression. Did. She, she really did. <laughs> all right, a little more merch. Uh, what about it? these? What is that? <laughs> these are beignet scented Disney ears. Oh my god. Can, their right. ears are getting worse and worse. Like the Space uh, Mountain ones, how the ears not even a circle. It's like wobbly. Like I mean, look at those. I wouldn't yeah. dare buy them. It, look, it looks like they went to the dollar store and made these. Yeah, I could do better. Yeah, and there's a lot of people on Etsy that do do better, but they smell like beignets. Do we uh, want to wear shit that smells like no. a pretzel one? I don't no. know. If I want a pretzel, I'll get a pretzel. World star. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I want to delete Facebook. The Disney groups are fucking ruthless. Oh, that's Cheryl. Yes, yes, yeah. Cheryl. They are. You ain't lying. It's uh, like that's like, like dealing with Twitch chat. Ugh. <laughs> I like to stand side by side on them. Yeah, and I don't need to move for you so you could get to the bus. I hate the ones that play around them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Especially the ones I think they could just jump up a little. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's a big no for days. I'm shocked. I thought you would like them. No, um, I'd rather just have a beignet. I like the beignet. <laughs> I don't <laughs> like the, <laughs> the real stuff. Right. Now, if these were rum Just scented, don't get those um, Bat Rouge beignets. <laughs> oh. I'm still afraid about that. <laughs> Why? Your distaste for Tinkerbell amazes me. Okay, I'm checking off no for this one, and I just saw for the love of Disney's face. I mean, this Tinkerbell looks that like Jay Leno. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> she, 
That Tinkerbell got a chin. <laughs> she got a jawline like a linebacker. <laughs> Jay Leno. <laughs> and you're supposed oh, to put this on your shoulder? Uh, Look at me. I don't know, Look at the things that are his shoulder? Like right. the yeah, yeah. You put them uh-huh. on your shoulder like uh, Javier no. has the, oh, the no. hoodie. Yeah, no. No. You put them on. Like, you going to walk no. around with this brickhead the whole day? <laughs> like, no. Blockhead. <laughs> now... <laughs> Everyone knows my distaste for Tinkerbell, and this just like this made my day. I'm like, okay, at least I can get people on board with this. This is just a no. Um, okay, so that leads me to this, guys. So, uh, um, for the love of Dizzy, I'm not sure if you guys know the journey awaits, but the yeah. journey awaits, I wanted to highlight them this week. They are such uh, that's our YouTubers, you know, pick of the week. They are really uh, what more you know can be said about them. We always hype them up, they're just a genuine. Uh, fun loving couple. Yes, love they the are. interaction. Yeah, and they and they live stream and do vlogs from that's how I met them. They live stream and do vlogs from Disney, but you know, life and circumstance circumstances sometimes takes you away from that a little, and they made the best of it. Uh, like mm-hmm. Anthony the Molar Man runs with his, like uh you created your cooking channel. These guys uh just started vlogging their everyday life, going to stores. Uh, the last couple of weeks, month, living in their RV as they wait for their beautiful house to be finished. Now they're in their house and going back to also cooking videos themselves. Mm-hmm. So uh, there's just the majority. I'm not going to lie. Week. The RV living was very, very interesting. Yeah, yeah. I was cool. glued to watching it. Yeah. Um, no problem, Cheryl. Cheryl's from Journey Awaits and yeah. Uh, I just love everything about them. They're wholesome. They're just, you know, everything the Disney community should be. And mm-hmm. um, I just love their live streams. And as you can see by my big arrow pointing to it, they are seven uh, people away from 900. Yeah. It would make my yeah, large heart happy tonight if you could just go <laughs> to the channel, The Journey Awaits, just type it in there in the YouTuber machine and put it in and subscribe to them. We, we, there has to be seven people out there, you know, out there that haven't who are listening to us that haven't subscribed to them. Just head on over to YouTube, give them a little uh, sub there. I promise, I promise you, you know, if you give them the sub and you don't like that content, obviously unsub. But we would never like uh, steer you wrong, you know. For the love of Disney, provides mm-hmm. great content and two real geeks and Javier, anyone that we have on or speak of, uh, kind of like vetted through us. They're just um, awesome people. Just regular down to earth people, salt of the earth people. So head on over there and just give them um, a sub if you haven't already sub, comment, share them out, like. Um, so that would be pretty cool. Let me see. We move from we moved to Orlando from Atlanta. Okay, cool. Oh wow. Look at you. Mm. Finally, I was able to find you. Jahira. Mm. Oh, okay. My co-worker. Oh, awesome. Cool. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Very cool. I thought it was for me. I thought I had a stalker on my hand. <laughs> you wish. I wish I did. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Sometimes life is a train wreck. Yeah, but you know what? Agreed. Though you and agreed all around. You know that affects us all, and that's you know one of the things. Like we spoke about before with the Fort of Disney, it's just like the balance. And sometimes life takes you away from it a little while, and it's okay right. for life it's to do okay. that. Just. It's okay. The channel's yep. always going to be there. Um, Thank <laughs> you, and sometimes when life takes you away from it, you, you yeah. make choices. And, and when you go back to your channel, you're able to improve on what you were doing before. Right. So, right. And sometimes, sometimes we need those breaks. On. Yeah. Mental health break. You know, like just take a break from it. Sometimes, you, you know, if you find yourself being frustrated and doing the vlogs doing the live stream doesn't lift you up if you find you're still in that mode like it's just not a good way to create content because then the audience feels it so it's good to take a break you know it's really good mm-hmm. and like you said Darrell, you come back recharged maybe with a new direction for your channel yep. you know all sorts of stuff so if you know our story about moving to Orlando it was a train year train wreck yeah mm-hmm. i think you touched upon it on your first live stream back a couple weeks ago um yeah Listen, you know, and, and you know, and that's the thing too. A lot of these channels project like, you know, hunky dory, everything's okay in Mickey Land, and that's cool if you're into that because some people don't want to like face real life stuff. But Reality, I, yeah, 
I love the channels that give, you know, I don't have to know all your business, but as long as you like give a dose of reality and like realness, I'm here for that. What do you guys think about that? Those are my favorite. I, I do agree with you on that. I do too, because yep. it's not easy. I had to drive 18 and a half, no, almost 20 hours to come down here in a truck with all my kids stuff and start all over again. No. It's not easy. No, not we did a, a, a year update from, you know, when, since we moved and it's still hard for us. Yeah. You know, the girls have to learn new friends, new school. Jada was at the end of her senior year. She graduated here without no friends. You know, everything's happening and it's like, it's tough. So that was one. Of, that was one of my questions. One when you were talking earlier. So how do you find living like theme parks aside? How do you find living in Florida? Do you like it? It's different. Yeah, very different. Very, very different. different. Because yeah. first of all, I was a manager of Family Dollars. I was making twenty seven dollars an hour. Here, try it. Right. Like they're, they're, the pay here sucks. Yes. And for you to have. Um, to move out, you have to like take forever to save. Like I'm with my parents right now. Thank God I have them here. And you have to be saving to go get your own stuff because if you don't have that second person to help you, it's tough. Right. It's, it's tough, tough. Yep. You know, to get your feet to even get an apartment because they're expensive. My mom don't live in no like she lives in a good neighborhood, like big old houses, and you're like, this is fantasy land for me. Like I need to go out there like far away from this place because i'm just not used to it yeah when i moved them here this is how weird it was we were parked the truck because she came before us and these people came to our door while we were unpacking our stuff and brought us a plate of cookies oh, i've God. never seen this only in the movie <laughs> my, I I was like, too. do we eat these cookies or what is this but poison? like i said it's so new because <laughs> The pay is different. The living is different here. Yeah, you have a lot of things to do in the summer. You know what I'm saying? Right. You go to the park, you take a walk. You can't do that where we're from. So it's like, nope. it's real different. It's just, it's strange. You have to be prepared. Are you going to be and, in shock? And how do, how do, like, how does your daughter like it? How, how does the family like it? Like, just overall, just being, have they adjusted well? Made friends? and I got my daughter over here looking at me like, <laughs> I should turn water on this one. Um, they still have; they're still learning to make friends. Okay. <laughs> um, Jada, like I said, she ended at the end of high school, and That's you know it. we're going through pandemic, so she graduated in like a month or two, and it was like, whew, there was no friendship unless she's at work and she right. starts meeting and coming out of her shell. Brianna, mm -hmm. she she's just a ninth grade, so she has a chance, and by at least. She's in first grade. She has the rest of her life. But it's hard because <laughs> you know what's crazy? That there's so many kids in my neighborhood, right? But you only see them when they get off the bus and get off, um, yeah, off, off right. the bus. Right. From yeah, because in right. Florida, it's too hot. Right. Ain't no one playing on the slide in this heat. They get stuck <laughs> to it. <laughs> they scatter. Humidity. They mm -mm. scatter and they're, they're gone. It's like, right. I know I just seen a bunch of kids out here. And it's like, like for the morning, especially. Yeah. And they're gone. Right. When I lived briefly in Las Vegas, it was the same thing. You didn't see a soul outside. No. And it's kind of yeah, the same thing here. That. Yeah, it is, it's, it's too, too hot. hot. Yeah. And unlike like the city life, you don't see people walking to the you can't walk to the stores for the most part. No nope. here. No. Uh, you can't. Nope. Mm -mm. So like where we're from, you <laughs> don't even dare. But so it's a difference. Like the culture is different up there. It's different over here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Especially Just the way in people, mm. yeah. It's so it's country over and here. Cheryl, just to tell you that I agree one hundred percent with you. I, I can't be fake on stream either. Yeah, I start People I start know comment. when I'm yeah. Right. Happy, sad, yeah. mad, angry. They they'll know it. And yeah. Cheryl, what's funny is that we talk all the time behind the scenes. We we love those moments where you're just yourself and yeah, you just yeah. fed up in your show. I mean, that's real. <laughs> I mean, that's real. And that's, why but that's that's how most <laughs> Americans or most people in the world are. They yeah. They're like that. They want to see themselves on, you know, on camera so that they can have somebody to relate to. Yeah. Okay, let's see what um Jaquita said. I was a teacher in the Midwest and moved to Florida and I got, yeah, one third of what I'm, yeah. 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 It's mm -hmm. it's bad. You don't get what you, you, right. you feel like you earned and you deserve. 
All I know is that rent is cheaper here than New York, and you get more. For, well, it's getting on the rise, I think. And property rent taxes are not as high. It's cheaper here than New that's, York. Oh no. That's what he's saying. Oh no, I feel like it's way more expensive. Like you make more in Florida than you did in New York. It, okay, it's more expensive because the cost of well, the pay that we receive it doesn't equal up to the cost of living in Florida. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But in New York, you guys get paid way more, so it kind of, sort of, kind of can equal up to it. Right. Mm-hmm. Hey, look, no state income tax. That's, I'm happy about that. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> like, so you I must get you... taxed on my tax in New Jersey. <laughs> 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 yeah, for real. You might have mentioned, I'm sorry if I missed it, but why, knowing your, your thoughts about Florida, why Florida? Like, was it because of the theme parks or no? It was just no, because right. my mother moved us to upstate in New York. If okay. you brought us up there, I'm following you wherever you go. Because before right. I moved up there, we lived in um, Savannah, Georgia. Oh, okay. And um, my cousin kind of, I feel, blew my dad's head like, oh, this is a great place. Ooh. And then we moved there, and it was like, not what you thought. Ah. Right. So um, they decided to move, and I said, "You brought me with up here. You gonna bring me down here?" So <laughs> I thought about it, and I just came. Okay, very cool, mm-hmm. very cool. I appreciate you being so upfront and honest. I know some of them are a little bit more personal, but very cool. I mean, I don't care. No. Very cool. Okay. <laughs> Cheryl, this is on point. Cheryl, this is on point because usually we are arguing about the live before we go live. I've been there, done that. I've been there arguing after the live, like, <laughs> and it's like. It's it's not more the live for me. It's definitely more the uh the, the vlogging. It's a little bit more difficult because I'm not big on the editing, but I have to learn that. Um, and Jaquita. but yeah. So, um, that's a funny it's statement. Eighteen hundred. Oh boy. Let's see what he said. You're also from upstate New York. I was in the Bronx and paying eighteen hundred for a one bedroom, one bath with no parking or pool. Here I pay fifteen for a two bed, two bath apartment with pool and parking. But you're in. Like New York, New York. I am like in this little hole by Niagara Falls. You know what I'm saying? Our so our rent is way different than the city city life. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You you know you get a one bedroom for like eight fifty nine hundred dollars <laughs> from where I'm from because I don't live in a I wasn't living in a good neighborhood. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it, it is different. Like, for example, in Miami, because I was living in Miami for a little while, for a while, um, the same style of home that I purchased here in Miami was like $500,000. But up here in Orlando, it was only $236,000 for the home. So it, it's it's crazy. It depends on where you are living at in the state of Florida, how crazy it could be. Mm-hmm. So I, I can see what you're saying in New York, like how certain places... It might be cheaper than in the city. In the city, yeah. Okay, very cool. So let's move on to what's perhaps me and Benny's favorite moment: uh, pin of the week. <laughs> pin of the week. So I'm gonna take this off again. Get ahead, Benny. I know you're excited. I know you're excited. Show them. Show, show the people. To, I knew to collecting pins. So you're addicting. This was very much necessary, even though it's not here in the Magic Kingdom. The what uh, is that? Main Street Electrical Parade oh, pin. Okay. I know my light is really blinding. Sorry, there we go. That's okay. Uh, I wish it was back here in the Magic Kingdom in Florida because I do remember seeing it as a child when I came back in the 80s. Right, and this is a pin so, for the 50th anniversary, right? Mm-hmm. And what's yes. on it? Because you were telling me in the park what's it, on it. There's a lot of cool it's, it's a small world. Yeah. It's, it's the main thing. There's, uh, there's Moana, uh, Miguel from Coco. Uh, Tiana, beautiful. Yep, it's it's really colorful. I had to what, get it. Yeah, of course. What? Uh, <laughs> listen, pin collecting is addicting. What? It is. Um, it is. What? You got anything else to show, my friend? Uh, the pin you got me when you yes. went to Disney Springs. I had to get the castle. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, show it here. Like, because I'm a geek the, when it comes to the castle. I took it out of the box. Uh, yeah. Look at, look at my sausage uh, fingers. Mine is gonna stay in the box. Yeah, I know, because you want to like resell it and rip people <laughs> off. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> and the pin you gave me, which was uh, one of my favorite rides growing up in Epcot, 
uh, Journey into Your Imagination. Yes. When you had the Dream Finder. Right. And he wrote this with Figment before this reefing with the, you know, uh, experimental yeah. lab and everything. Yeah. It, it was better. Yeah, so I get that in the beginning. Of... Yes. Right. And, and I, think Daryl, I think Darrell wrote that to get out of Magic Kingdom. That's how long it was. <laughs> Pretty much. It took that but, uh, a long time. This is part of the pack where I gave you that pin, the Epcot 50th. And what I thought was cool, I actually screamed out loud like a little kid when I saw this. was the, uh, I know you can't see his dark. Let me put this on. Uh, this is the Star Blaster. Eh, whatever. I got to do like the makeup channels. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Star Blaster. <laughs> Jeffree Star. Uh, I wanted so, to yeah. take a picture of that <laughs> at Epcot, but it was blocked off and they were doing some shoot, I guess. So I couldn't really take photos over there, but. And that's my final that pair I got, like a floating series uh, down Main Street. And that's Ch- my boy is Chippendale. I collect Chippendale. I love Chippendale. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so let's read a little bit, audience. <laughs> moving, living in our RV, then moving again with a true test for our marriage. I think we can survive anything. I think so, too. They say the true test of any yeah. friendship or relationship is taking a road trip <laughs> or being confined <laughs> together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, how are you? Hey. Yep, God is cute. It's beautiful, Benny. Oh my goodness, two girl geeks. Yeah, yeah. Cheryl, welcome to two girl geeks. That's we have the same same thoughts. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, so moving on, just a little bit more, just to wrap it up a little. I want to talk a little bit about West Coast, what uh, California Disneyland. They have their after dark graduation night. Uh, has anyone heard of this? Um, I thought it literally it was for people graduating. I know about grad night. I didn't know about yeah, I, I know a reunion. Grad night. Yeah, my dumb ass just thought it was people for graduating. Uh, it's a- entertainment experiences to unique cafeteria inspired food. Don't they have that already? Uh, it is an evening of grad night's greatest hits. It's 150 bucks per person, 8 a.m. to midnight. No passing. Mm-hmm. If you were there, would you go? 150 no. bucks. No. Yeah, are there any after dark stuff or uh, like uh, that you'd go to? You think it's worth? You think it's uh, worth going I, to for the no no, no line? I right? went to the villains. I went I to the villains, there. but that was like I said, that was seventy five bucks. But it was good. I had a great time. Yeah, but would I pay a hundred and something? No, because that's right. like a Benny, regular park pack. No, no. Well, Benny might be getting a little excited by this. They have Disneyland after dark, Star Wars yeah, night again, man. Character, hey, so what? You could be. Maybe. Yeah, go to Galaxy's Edge again. <laughs> um, but it's 134 per person, Ugh. and it goes nine to one, and it's Ugh. on May third and fourth, obviously. Um, and it starts at six. Um, yeah, I mean that's kind of cool. I think it's cool. Listen, Disneyland, well, well, whether you like this or not, Disneyland with their nighttime shows and all these things coming up, um, I think they're killing it. I think it's really cool, and I can't wait to go there. For the love, have you been there? I have. Without, you really have? Yes, I have. But it was like a quick, you know, thing. I didn't get on the um, Alice in Wonderland on right. I didn't get on mm. the Roger Rabbit. It was like a quick here and there. I didn't like enjoy, it, enjoy. It. I want to go and like enjoy and see everything. Maybe a four day just to go. Yeah, to I've, really I've, experience it. Yeah. I've never been. I've never been. Yeah. How was the? Um, what are your thoughts on the castle? Did you see the castle? How does it compare? I, it's a puny castle. It's really small. <laughs> nothing compared to what we see. It's right. a little tiny castle. It's nothing. It's like, I don't know. I like how they split the the, <laughs> the parks and whatnot, but I went for Halloween time. So oh, I, got okay. the, I got the chance to see the haunted, um, ma- um, it was at the haunted, yeah, the haunted mansion, how they turned into like, um, Boogie, uh, Boogie was there and it was mm-hmm. pretty cool. Well, that's cool. Okay. I mean, not many people get to experience that, so that's cool. That's very true. Did you did you go to DCA while you were there, or just Disneyland? Disneyland. Oh, okay, cool. Disneyland. Okay, mm-hmm. so we have what the Encanto uh, sing along film concert uh, coming up. The tickets start about twenty nine bucks, I guess, depending where you're sitting. But I don't know. I think this would be fun to go to. I think so. Yeah. Is this, that, is this in Disneyland? No, this is coming to like stadiums. Oh. Yeah, it's actually like uh, oh, right here. Here it is. Like a like, Disney on ice kind of thing. Yeah, it's okay. an on-stage yeah. band, like kind of like they do with Star Wars, mm-hmm. um, and some like Danny Elfman does with some of his movies. Um, yeah, so I think it's pretty cool. I, 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 I honestly, I, I, 
I like I it because yeah, Lin Manuel like- Miranda did most of the music for this movie, and I'm a big Lin Manuel Miranda fan. Right. You know, he's good. See, I, That's it. I tried <laughs> to watch Hamilton. I didn't like it. I do respect the man's talent. Yeah. But yeah, um, not for everybody. But my I, daughter doesn't have never watched it, but I heard one song, and she'll sing the whole song. <laughs> Yep, you saw my live. She sings the whole Theodora song. She loves it. So yeah, this is how I feel about it, right? I, I think it's great, but I also yeah. think Disney need to step their game up with the music. Like Encanto was good music, but then when you listen to TikToks and what people are doing with the music, and how they change the music up, yeah. and how they use different styles of music to it, Disney Disney has to step their game up when it comes to that and stop with this white watch stuff because so you want to you want yeah. more seasoning into your soundtrack yeah just, just just give me a little more seasoning and and to the shows right in the parks yeah and the shows in the parks just a little more seasoning what do you what do you want bell to start twerking <laughs> you know, i'm not saying to be twerking but what i'm saying is like for example no, whoa, 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 whoa. so the song in spanish is not not seasoning there's not enough seasoning, even though the song is in Spanish. No, no, I'm not talking about specifically for that, but I'm just talking about <laughs> music in general. Mm-hmm. And that just, like, if you go to Beauty and the Beast show, it's all like boring. It's really boring. The music is boring. They're doing can can dancing. Like, I mean, which, that's, that's yeah. France. You, you can step it up. <laughs> not in Hollywood studios. You can step it up, like you can add a little hip hop to it. You can add a little jazz. You can add a little, you know, something to make it more interesting to tell this story. Okay. But listen, that's your opinion. I respect it. I mean, you know, and you, you're also talking about like even like the live shows in Disney Springs, like you know, all over the parks, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah all of them. Yeah, but I do okay. love Canto though. I love Bruno. Oh, really? That's my mm-hmm. favorite song. Yes. Oh, okay. Me too. I was singing the song before I saw the movie. I liked the movie. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be, but it's pretty cool. I like the casita, like how the house is. Like- I love the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love the movie because you actually got a chance to see a different culture yeah. and how, you know, they interpret things. And everybody has a, a grandmother, an overbearing grandmother. So you can relate to it. Whether you're Spanish or not, you can relate to it. <laughs> Did so, you like Coco? Oh, I love Coco. Yeah, it was a good movie. Okay, so we're just going to leave off with a big thing that's happening in Tokyo Disneyland in 2027. They are redesigning their Tomorrowland. Um, <gasps> they said they're going <laughs> to... It's going to be built to express the connection between Earth and the universe, representing an image of the future where humans are in harmony with nature, with elements that create a sense of hope for the future. So joining Space Mountain will be Tomorrowland Square, a new plaza which will reimagine the new Space Mountain area of Tomorrowland. This project is projected to cost four hundred and fifty million dollars. Wow. wow! This is beautiful. That's deep pockets. Okay, <laughs> Darrell, you like this? I you love are? it. I love the aesthetic. I love the look. I love the fact that they're going to tear the whole mountain down yeah. and the roller coaster Completely. and rebuild Completely down. something totally different. Yeah. I think they need to do that at ours. <laughs> yeah. No, I think so. I think with Tron being there, I think this new version, like something like this, would fit in more with it. You're right. It does need a, a little update. I know they did update on the signs and the rocks and stuff and kind of like the retro kind of style. But yeah. Uh, yeah, Space Mountain could use a redo. So any like, any of you, you have imagine any this next to Tron like that would be so awesome wow. and it so glows. Cool. Right. Yeah, <laughs> it would be cool. But you know, if they started here, it'd be done in 2082. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, Tron is dragging ass, and so who knows? But um, yeah, I think that's kind of where we're gonna wrap up. If anyone, oh, let's go to the comments. Um, just real quick, let's see if that anyone has anything. Um, Beauty and the Beast needs to change. Uh, See? Okay. Love and Canto. I love how no one talks about Drawn to Life. What is Drawn to Life? It's the Cirque du Soleil <laughs> show at Disney Springs. Oh. Oh, that, that $200 million show yep. that we have to and pay for? It's like 80 something dollars to sit way in the back. Is that still going <laughs> on? 
I thought yeah, it was like hundred and something. Oh, if you want to sit up front? <laughs> You're paying a lot more. Uh, I yeah. think a hundred. I think like two or three hundred is sitting in the front, man. Okay. Yeah, I kind of have no interest in that show. But um, for the love of Disney, yes. for the love of cooking, yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us tonight. It was yeah, really, really so on. Much. And thank you for hanging out with the news. I know we took a lot of your time, but we appreciate it so much. I'm not doing anything, guys, but I appreciate y'all inviting me. I have fun with you guys. Yeah, let me uh, put up the socials one last time. Please, guys, go out and sub and like. Um, Definitely go and sub and like to their channels. Yep. And on, my some love. I, on my Instagram, I do my Mickey Mouse ears, too, so y'all can look at them. I do my nice. Mickey ears. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, cool. oh, yeah, show that. That's, that's really different. Cool. It has what? like a little oh, kind of around the Is that an orange juice? Oh, oh shit. That, that is, is so cool. cool. <laughs> Wait, so hold on. That's you make great. these on as a side hustle on the side or just yeah. free sell? Yeah, oh. I, do it. I do it myself. I did oh, wow. um, oh, shit. Oh. Adventures of VP. Um, yes. their, their logo, I did them. For oh, them. Mm. see? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. that's cool. That's their logo right here. Oh, okay, very cool. That is you know, so yeah, cool. I do, yeah. So if y'all want, y'all could go check them out. Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. <laughs> Everybody's like, "Where do you find time?" I find it. Believe me. Listen, the ones they sell in the park. <laughs> those ears are amazing. <laughs> Thank Make you. Those beignets right. look like, like total. Sh- <laughs> yeah, I want to say total shit. There you go. <laughs> so again, thank you so much. We hope to eventually meet you out there yes. again in the real world and hang out with you and just just have a great time. Maybe break bread next time, have a lunch or dinner with some cre- cre- creators, you know, and just throw out some ideas and help each other out, like you said. Absolutely. So, okay. Well, thank you so much, and have a great night. We'll see. It's not the last of you. We're gonna see you again soon. We'll All right, guys. People on. Thank you have so much. Night. Bye, guys. Bye, Chad. Take care. Bye. 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 That's so cool. Thank you for the shout out for Jenny. Of course. Uh, thank time. you. Thank you. Wow, those are amazing ears. Cool. Yes, those ears okay. are so amazing. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't even so, wear ears, but I, I uh, want a pair. You actually, of, uh, I didn't know she do that. I, I should did that. So that's pretty cool. Um, we have to start plugging that too. So, uh, what, uh, those are amazing is, yeah. Two real geeks. Uh, how are you saying good night? I didn't say good night yet. Mm. I'm kidding. Uh, so, <laughs> so a, as we wind it down, boys, so, uh, theme park lifestyle, what can we expect from you coming up? Um, your I am currently working on a blog, um, that I did. When Benny was in the parks, oh, okay. um, you can see what took place, my adventure, how I had to go to Epcot in order to get to Magic Kingdom because they didn't have <laughs> a park pass for Magic Kingdom. So that was like a two hour journey, but <laughs> that's going to be in that blog. Um, I'm also working on a live stream as well, hopefully with Brian somewhere. We'll be able to do that sometime. Very, very, very soon. When you took when you took the monorail from Epcot, how was the experience? Was it packed? Yes, it was packed. Because people um, were hard hopping, hopping over, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, so what's I mean, the they move? Were you, hopping you, when I got on the monorail to go you, over there. Really? So you literally go mm-hmm. through the turnstiles and come right back out? Yeah. So what I did, I, I, I parked at the Magic Kingdom because that's where I was going right. to end up at. Oh, and then I, okay. I took the monorail over there, and then from the monorail, I went through the through the gate, and then got back on the monorail again. And I had to wait a while for the monorail. So, um, and then of course, long. you know, once when you get to the TTA, uh, whatever the ticket system at Magic Kingdom, that's a whole nother trip in itself because you have to wait for that to get to the Magic Kingdom. So, right, right. Um, <laughs> Do you think they're you think they're keeping that for the foreseeable future? I think they are because it's a way for them to control um yeah revenue and yeah. how they know how to staff people. Um because I don't know if people notice, but Disney is very short staff on their staffing. And a lot of mem- cast members that I know they're leaving 
they're actually leaving Disney to go to Universal. Really? Huh. So well, uh, anyway. there, there's your channel and logo, buddy. You know, uh, theme park is sitting at 284. I would appreciate if everyone in here watching on the replay, or watching live, uh, also give him a sub, like, comment on his videos. Who really uh, has the hustle and grind? He puts together some really cool videos. So uh, definitely sub to him. What is he saying over here? So he's got something to say. They need to get rid of all this already and bring back the OG days. Yes, I do agree with you. You just go to the park, whichever one you feel like. So, Lugo, look at this pretty little thing I did for you. I like it pretty. <laughs> I like it. I like it. it is kind of cool. I did it on the fly. But, uh, Lugo, I know you know you're, you're finding your way with your channels and stuff, mm -hmm. and I know you work. You know, much like for the love, you know, you have a job and you're working really hard. So it was really um, a cool a job, huh? No, I know. I I know. Oh, Listen, okay. I know you got a job, buddy. Yeah, but man, I'm just you saying. can make time. You know, you can show your own time. <laughs> right. And you, you, yeah. really, you yeah. really needed this break. So I'm glad mm -hmm. you got it. And I'm hopeful it. that the next break comes sooner than later. Uh, do yeah, you have well, any I'm idea? Having, I'm having surgery in next week. Uh, as most right. people don't know, I'm losing my teeth. So I'm having them taken out. And I will be getting. A new teeth. Very know, cool. Dentures. So that's why the microphone is in front of my face. I'm self conscious. So I know. But well, you're also getting these done, right? <laughs> why do you have to ruin it for everything, man? You know, I, I, I want a good thing and I don't want to, I want to surprise everybody, but you know, you want to go and do that. I didn't ruin it. I don't I'm know how. Throwing pictures or anything. You... What? Listen, you know, when we ha when we do our first live stream <laughs> after they're perky, we're gonna have so many people in this chat. <laughs> do, do I have to wear you know, a nice top? <laughs> They're gonna be tripping over themselves to come here. But I honestly, <laughs> I honestly need to say this. Um, I enjoyed sitting with you gentlemen today, and for the love of Disney, look at this. Look at Coco saying, <laughs> "Cracking up." <laughs> well, it's good to hear Darrell laugh. Thank you, Cheryl. Oh, thank you so that. much, Cheryl. Thank you so much. I'm um, nervous, but, but I'm, I'm gonna. I need it and get myself back together. So. so they knocking you out, right? I hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That's the whole thing I'm nervous about, but, you know, like, yeah. for health reasons, I need to have yeah. it done. Yeah. Any type of no, medicine. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we wish you luck with that. Thank you, Jaquita. And, um, oh, thank you, Jaquita. But, yeah, I will say this. You know, I was a little bummed out today, but, like, you know, being with you guys, hanging out with you guys, laughing with you guys, talking about dumb shit that in the end of the day doesn't <laughs> really matter. Like it so really, dope. it really um, brightened my day a little. So I do enjoy hanging with you boys, and especially in person. You know, so it was a good yes. day. That Wednesday meetup at Disney Springs was was awesome. It yeah. was very well needed. And if yeah. you guys want to um, see my little Instagram, you can see Brian in action as Hagrid. And <laughs> but you know what? Before we go, you really we didn't really touch upon Gideon's too much. We did go to Gideon's. There wasn't a virtual queue. There was like a five minute line. Benny was excited. So was I because it was hot. So there you go. We got in. <laughs> <laughs> I did not partake because it was a little too heavy for me. It was hot outside, but you guys did. So you want to explain briefly what you got? A little review. And I know you have it on your Instagram, Darrell. But how about like in person? What, what, did you enjoy what you um, got? I enjoyed it. I would say I wouldn't go out my way to go there, but if I was there, I would stop there and get a iced coffee and some cookies. The cookies were excellent, and the iced mm -hmm. coffee was very good too. But yeah, that cookies and cream was so good, man. Which is interesting because you're not a coffee guy, right? No, I'm not. I don't drink coffee at all. So when you drank that, did you get any like jolt or buzz from it, or was it more just like a little bit of a pick me up? Just a little bit. Right. Okay. Okay, and Benito, you were really excited. I felt oh, yeah, I love it. Was, it was palpable like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got my parents' cookies <laughs> and I bought myself some bites. So yeah, <laughs> all good. Not too. You would you would go back for it again? I mean, I, I have been back multiple times. Yeah. Every time I went with you, got met up with you guys. I would take the drive down there. Was I this would Wednesday your the next day? This past Wednesday, when we wait, was it your shortest wait or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, you think maybe it's dying down a little? Behind? No, because it was the middle of the week. Yeah, we went on a Wednesday. What time was it? Like a yeah. noon? 
Yeah, it was about yeah. No, yeah. eleven o'clock in the morning we got 11 there because we stopped that chicken guy. Remember, we got that chicken guy got food, and then we walked over there. Uh, Coco oh, saying, yeah, we did go to chicken guy. Mm-hmm. Because we were hungry. <laughs> Laquita, hush. <laughs> Bry as Hagrid. Wait. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean what are you missing big hairy <laughs> you said i remember rel saying that the first time we met up at this <laughs> back in november when my brother and his boyfriend came down <laughs> what did he say he called me hagrid then yeah <laughs> <laughs> But to, to put the final like nail in the coffin on Gideon's, I'm sure we'll talk about it again down the line. But uh, Darrell, you said it's more suited where you feel in, in Universal and Harry Potter because that's the vibe that it gives you. It looks like it's a magic shop, yeah, um, with spells and different um, images in yeah. there that give you like the creepy kind of magical vibe. Um, I can say this. I don't like the way Gideon smells inside. Right. It was strong. Um, like, cake yeah, it's cake. very strong. <laughs> um, I will say I'd probably go back to try the cake, though. The cake looked good. And I, mean, I might go back maybe. I mean, it's probably a big mistake. I just remember every month there's a new cookie and a new cake that they bring. Oh, really? A new cake, mm-hmm. too? Have you tried every the month? cake? I've had the, it was the peanut butter, banana, chocolate. Good crunch no. cake, and it was phenomenal. It wasn't like dry at all or anything. No way, no. Okay, cool. And they but sell the whole cake. I mean, thing? it's a big. Sli- you can. It gets pretty expensive. expensive. Right? Yeah, yeah. But the, the slices are real huge. Darrell, I have a challenge for you. If you had to put that in a Disney park, where would you put it? In Florida, like which of the Disney parks would you shove Gideon's? What in? Gideon's? Yeah, if you had. Where to. would I put it? Yeah. I put it in the in the the London Pavilion. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. I could see it going there. To be honest, that's pretty cool. Uh, oh, hey, my God. Steph is still listening to the stream. She just isn't chatting. We're watching Frozen too. Oh, awesome! Thank <laughs> you guys for the support. Speaking uh, of Frozen, I um, two Frozen real geeks. Along. Um, awesome. Chicken Guy. I gotta try the one in Winter Park because I don't care for the one in Disney Springs. It's okay. Yeah, it's not I, I went there because my parents wanted it, so oh, they that's get cool. what they want. <laughs> um, and how did your parents enjoy Gideon's? Did they have it? I forget. Did they have it there that day? Uh, they, no, we had they had the cookies after with you know with their cup of coffee. Um, Brian, they, they really she wants it. to know about Costco cakes. Um, do they oh. sell Costco cakes there? That's no. very important. But but the cakes at Gideon's <laughs> were ginormous, and they do look pretty cool. Um, but you could also I forget. Do you know? Uh, there's another Gideon's in Florida where it's like yes. same stuff, half the line. I think maybe even a little cheaper. East End Disney's. Market, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I'll... I don't know. Maybe it's worth a trip just to go there for me to get the stuff for my phone. I think it's bigger, too. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. You're a 50%, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, unless you can have a Tinkerbell Costco cake, then we're talking. Because I'll eat her. Uh, uh praising. <laughs> what um? Why do, you okay. hate, why do you hate Tinkerbell so much? Listen, like, it's, I just it's, really want to know. It's just listen. I'm a miserable person, and I just love to hate on positive things. So yeah, she represents the positivity of all little children in the park, and I just want to stomp on her, <laughs> like a firefly. Okay. No, the <laughs> park. Honestly, it's one of those. It's like kind of like a gimmick. I mean, do I really hate her? No, but I'm not invested in the character. Like I could care less about her. Um. Let's see. The Gideon's is smaller. It's off Colonial. We went there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. all they have is cookies? Okay, then no, ma'am. I'm after oh, cakes. Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go to Disney Springs because of the, co- the Cobra coffee. That's that. Mm. So when you celebrate birthday, Darrell, theme park, and when you celebrate it, Lugo, we have to like really try some cool shit. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to Universal when I celebrate for my birthday. So you decided Universal? Yeah. Okay. This Universal is it's more adult friendly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because I tell you right now, I'm getting. We like, have better food. I'm sorry. I'm getting plastered for your birthday. I don't know. Um, I'm getting Tinkerbell wasted. <laughs> Brian needs pixie dust. <laughs> 
I know I, Cheryl's I, not telling me. <laughs> I love the looks of death she gives Reggie. <laughs> it's my favorite part. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, I'm going to put them up one last time because I just want to hype them up just a tiny bit more. Um, if you guys don't mind, if we continue like a minute more. Yeah, um, of course. Of okay. course. I have nothing, I to, nothing to do, do. tomorrow. <laughs> exactly. I'm off tomorrow, so. so I just want to put them on the screen again. Uh, I got really, has a blue law. <laughs> it, it, oh, look who it is! Hello, CM Manny. Manny in the house. Hello, kids. Just What's to going that. on, Manny? Oh, so what is it there? It's seven o'clock there, Manny. Enjoy your shift, man. Go spread that yeah. magic. Um, avoid Tinkerbell at all costs. But have a great, <laughs> have a great time out there, Manny. I know, I know, I know you have a blast doing it. And um, I don't so think awesome, they though. have Tinkerbell out there like that. Oh, right, right. Thank I God. think it's only us. See, they always do things better. But uh, Manny, have a great time, man. I think it's so cool <laughs> that we have we literally we have a cast <laughs> member in the chat from the West Coast. I think that's so cool. I like that. That is cool. It is cool. Um, if you after Brian with Pixie Dust, you will use his Dustbuster real quick. Dustbuster. I'll just <laughs> stomp on it. So again, if guys, if you're in this chat right now, please, please, please go uh, subscribe to Journey Awaits. Um, please let's help let's them get, them get to 900. Yeah, otherwise Cheryl's yeah, gonna have please. all of our asses. So we need them at 900 or more because we we want them above 900. Because you know how it gets when you get to 900 and you start celebrating, and then the next day is 899. Yeah, okay. and you want to go kick yourself because that YouTube algorithm. <laughs> That's the way YouTube is, you know. <laughs> That's the way YouTube is. So please, guys, the same way. Go there. Yeah. It would be awesome one day if we could have you guys. I'm kind of throwing it out there in the universe. Uh, on the show it would be really cool. It would be a blast to have you guys. But um yes, definitely. Right? And we gotta get two. I think uh we hit it with two real geeks. Like what kind of theme night it's gonna be. It's gonna be just like uh what he said he wanted to do before. I forget, but it'll be geek fun. Stuff. Yeah. yeah, geek stuff and just yeah, bullshit. It'll be great. Or uh, uh just different things. Yeah, yeah, right? It'll be cool. Um, so please give them some <laughs> love. Um yeah, so guys, episode six in the can. Yeah. Love in it. In the wow. can. You're already going to be at seven. Wow. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, boy. Yeah, Darrell. It's normally what comes after six. <laughs> yeah. Let me know. And okay, cool. All right, two world geeks. All right. Um. Yeah. Like when we get to the tenth one, we're just, just going to be like in the street celebration down Main Street for episode. <laughs> Maybe one day we could uh, work well, up. Maybe, maybe it might be. What? Maybe we, we can get Benny to come. Yeah, exactly. Or we might go to where Benny is. You never know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Take it to Crystal River, Silver Spring State Park. <laughs> no bottomless boat. No, you don't have to go on the boat. Okay. No, you don't want to go on the boat? You don't go on the boat. You're not going to force you to do that. Cheryl, I hope you know we just we just joking with you. We love we we you couldn't find bigger <laughs> fans of you than in here. So uh, and your channel and Reggie. I mean, honestly, what hooked me was when they were at Disney one time. I think it was contemporary or something. They were sitting on a bench. They were ending their stream and they were just going back and forth, a little, like nothing bad, but just going back and forth. I'm like, this is what I'm here for. Like, <laughs> this is great, and their accents are so cute. Like I got hooked on our accents. They're they're they're, they're uh, like the draw. Like it's uh, it's just good. The it's southern good. draw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, Coco. No boat. No water. No okay. Crocs. Listen, Coco. They're trying to get me on this pontoon boat, which I'm not about to do. Yeah. Yeah. No pun. I, I, well, would you would you say the pontoon boat trumps the glass bottom boat? No boat. <laughs> There's no boat, period, dude. No boat. Just, okay. Just no boat. No. Listen, I respect that. I respect that. There are a lot of people that want to go in the water. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Cheryl's laughing. <laughs> you're on team no boats, Coco. You're you're a theme park stand. That's what you are. Yep. <laughs> That's, That's my are. friend. That's ah well yeah. <laughs> Listen, I think everyone who comes in here likes you guys better than me. That would be awesome. Ah, that would be awesome. I don't think that's true. I'm um. Sure. Oh no. I, I definitely and listen. I have done the airboat before, and I will never, ever, ever do that ever again. All right. Where'd you um, do it? Florida. In Miami. Uh -huh. was, uh, Everglades. 
And when that alligator, like literally, you can feel yourself going over the alligators. <gasps> really? Like, <laughs> does, it, does it kill them? <laughs> no, it doesn't kill them. Oh, all right. Because no, there's no propellers in the water. Yeah, it's no propellers. And and then not only that, they're prone to jumping onto the boat. Um, the alligator. Yeah, I, I ain't about that. What? Yeah. I put, I, I put when I did it, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. And then when I found all this out, I like freaked out. Right. But my question to you, sir, if your team no boats, how did you get on the boat to begin with? Okay, say so you didn't know about the Crocs and all that, but how did you get on the boat? Like someone forced you or are you were willing? No, I, so I had some friends that came into town. They wanted to do it and yeah. we were drinking. Oh. And I was like, okay, you know, not being in my right mind. Okay. And then when I got out there and I got on the boat, yeah, it was a whole different story. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I respect it. Alligators, whatever, Jaquita. Jaquita, you know, you, Jaquita, you know you'd wrestle those. You'd wrestle those alligators. You and Cheryl will kick alligators' ass. <laughs> <laughs> but um, okay, so we've gone about two hours now, guys. I think it's a good time to wrap it up. Uh, thank you, guys, in the chat for joining us. If you're you're brave enough to be at this point on the replay, God bless you. Uh. You must be on Xanax or something. So, <laughs> thank you guys, Theme Park. As always, thank you, Benito. Thank you, and thank we'll you. see you next week. Uh, next next week. Wow. Next In week. Ger- ah, blah, German. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> next week for week seven. All right. So, adios. Chiquetta, uh, I uh, I wish you. I did scream. I screamed the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, Ali, you just coming in, uh, or Ali, you just coming in for the end. Next time, hopefully, uh, you can see us from the start or catch us a little bit earlier live. Uh, try to catch us on the replay. We're a hoot and a holler. Coco, bye. Bye, Coco. Bye. Bye. Maybe you'll stand Benito next week. Hey, Jaquita. Oh. Okay, so without further ado, we'll see you guys for episode seven. And good luck, be well. Good night. Have a great weekend, guys. Darrell would never, ever, ever fail to mention I was younger than us. Good lord. Um, but yeah, so uh, let's get right into it. Um, all right. So,